Oh, nah. Y'all don't know what's in the bag. Y'all don't know what's in the bag. <laughs> Bailey. Um, yeah, babe. You got a mukbang today. Mukbang every day. Cheap shit. Mm. The cheap mukbang, no. We get it how we live. So as you can see, we got our handy dandy tripod. <laughs> And we're gonna take this and we're gonna try to put it somewhere over there to put the phone up. You know what I'm saying? This is if you don't got a camera crew, you gotta make do with it do. Make it do what it do, baby. All right. So let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So now. Put my right here. There are no discrepancies. When that phone don't fall forward, we good. Well, if it falls forward, it's gonna fall onto this branch right here, so that's actually okay. <laughs> I got my switch just because, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Now, technically, <sighs> no more delays, bro. Today, should be getting <coughs> my fifth book. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Clearly, thank you, bless you, bless you back. <laughs> Sending blessings right back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for engaging on the poll. Thank you for your likes, comments, subscribing, all that. Bailey! So, welcome to another episode of Tangential Thought Chat Show. I'm your chief. Jahar, leader of the Kim Dining Center Spiritual Bandits, because we take our money so we don't ask for us to rightfully ours. Now, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? We got some, uh... Now, everybody be like, don't feed your dog bones. F that. Feed your dog good bones. You don't go out here and you don't do the, the little thin, skinny bones, because that can splinter in their, you know what I'm saying, their mouth or whatever. You give them some nice bones that got a decent size on it, and they'll do the rest, you know what I'm saying? They dogs. What you think a dog does? Like, the dogs be chewing mad. Bailey, come here, man. So this is a good bone. This is a good bone that she can have, you know what I'm saying? Here. Well, you gotta make sure she earned this shit. Come here. Right here. Yeah, I, I, set, wave. <laughs> she gave you both hands on that one. Wave, good job. Lay. Oh, come man. Pickaboo. 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 Good job. Uh, so, bones are perfectly okay for your dog. You know what I'm saying? Nice little treat. It got a little meat on it. That's even better. You know what I'm saying? As you see, on command. She is on go and she ain't gonna move nowhere and go nowhere. I ain't gotta watch you too much. I know exactly what the fuck she gonna be doing. I can just sit here and talk to y'all and she gonna be right there waiting for the next one. She know it's more here. She know it's more here. But she did really good. So, we'll be fine. I have to go, but take care and I hope you have a good day, man, with you and your dog. Peace and blessings and prosperity right back at you. Thank you so much. We're off to a great day. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Come here, right here. Come right here, babe. Right here. Sit. Lay. That's good, that's good, that's good. Mm. Um, so, she got, so we got some bones for Bailey. Uh -oh. You don't like the hit on. You don't hit on, you don't hit that shit. You're like, oh shit, what the fuck going on? <laughs> um, but you wanna make sure it's a decent size bone, but. Just not in little skinny joints, and that might be able to splinter, nothing like that. Now, this is for Bailey, and I got myself some chicken too, man. Come on, man. It's the mukbang, Bailey. We at the mukbang. You know what I'm saying? These is cheap ghetto mukbangs. Until I get rich. So I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm talking. Y'all gonna see the mukbangs go from me being at the Dollar Tree eating chips and, and energy drinks, and then it's gonna be some lavish shit one day. It's gonna be some damn like damn this nigga eating 
What's what's the most lavish dinner meal you can have? Those those like I I heard the one John, uh what's her name? Glorilla. She said that she was eating some strawberry chicken. She said, What the fuck is this shit? Cause you <laughs> you got different taste buds, you know what I'm saying? So I'ma I'm gonna make sure it's one day we're gonna have the, the, the shrimp, the steak. Now the steak has to be now when they ask you how you like your steak cooked, they know if you if you really bought it, bought it, depending on you know what I'm saying, what temperature you put it at. So I'm gonna have the steak cooked at a, a, a medium, a medium. Don't you're not supposed to go no more than medium well. Alright, you don't go no more than medium well. So they say anything after that, they talking about done and well done. You're like, ah shoot. But so I'm I'm gonna I'm make sure we got a, a a medium well done steak. We're gonna have some shrimp. Raw. Oh my god. He just he said, man, just kill the uh kill the cow and just cut it off and give it to me. Um, nah, see, I learned this in conversation because the girl was asking for steak sauce. And I'm like, well, what type of steak sauce should you be using for your steak? Dude was like, a good steak don't need no steak sauce. I said, I'm learning. I said, I'm learning. I could go a butterfly. You had to see the butterfly, yo. It just went that way. You just had to see it. The butterfly just came through. That's how yellow butterfly be stopping through. So, I'm trying to think of a lavish meal. Nah, but see, everybody got different versions of lavish. You know what I'm saying? Like my favorite food and your favorite food. I like barbecue. You know? Oh my gosh! Don't let me, don't let me go back to Jersey. Don't let me go back to New York, and I get that crown chicken. The crown. Crown, all right, so if you've never been to New York, if you've never been to Jersey, when you go, now it ain't no upscale rickety restaurant. This a, you know what I'm saying? This a, it's a hole in the wall, but everybody know what the fuck going on. Go to, when you go to New Jersey, you go to New York, look for Crown Chicken and get you some, get you some fried barbecue. That's the thing, bro. It's wings, they fried. Dip them barbecue. Boy, them things is crack. Get you some fries. That, and you good. Now, based on inflation, I'm not sure how much shit costs now. But back in the day, and this is when I say back in the day, this is right before COVID. So like when I was in Jersey, when I was in Jersey, like 2017, 2018, you know what I'm saying? Right then, that's what. You can get you a nice meal, six dollars and some change. And you get you get the wings, fries, and a drink. Now, I'm not going to give her this bone, all right? I would give it to her, but I don't like how sharp it is right here. I don't like that. But she's looking at it crazy. If I go throw it, she's going to go get it. Gone. She's going to find that shit, too. Bro, you're American, right? Amazing. I want to ask something. Is gangster crime really that bad there? Smoking a brisket? That's what the fuck I need. I, need, I ain't having me a brisket in a minute. Is crime that bad? Damn, I'm jealous, bro. You got me jealous. I ain't, I ain't had nothing in a hot little minute. Pork chops and sausage. Now, is crime that bad? Mm, of course not. But then in the, at the beginning of the days, it is. Um, crime is not that bad. But then again, when you end this shit, it's as bad as it, you know what I'm saying? It can be, but it's not as rampant, as glorified as it is, you know what I'm saying, on TV or nothing like that, right? Mm. And it really goes, all right. The reason, this shit exists, bro, is what I'm trying to say. It, yes, it exists, bro, like, cause I've been to a jump, bro, when I was growing up, we used to playing football. They would stop playing football just to go jump somebody and then come back to playing football. Shit just be like, and that's just because, that's just because the boy live on the avenues and we live in apartments. Like, cause the niggas on the avenues live in houses and we live in apartments. So like, you know, you from the avenues, you think this and that, boom, boom, boom. Like it'd be some simple shit as that, but it just should be really real. Like you look back at it like, damn. Um, so it like anything that be happening on TV, it happens, but it ain't as rampant. And it, but it, it, then again, it depends on where you at. Or how you carry yourself. Um, over here is bad, like, 
been over 40 shootouts. It's crazy I live in here, but it get real fast. Now, the only shootout I ever seen was when the cops were shooting at this one boy. I ain't never seen people shoot at the cops though. You know what I'm saying? Or shooting best. I ain't never seen them shoot up between each other or something like that. You, it's always after the fact. Like you hear the shots and then you be like, oh shit, what the fuck was that? But I don't think it's as bad as they be talking about, bro. Well, I'm not sure what the, the image would be on the whatchamacallit. But if you ask him, I'd be like, damn, niggas probably scared to come over here and shit. They always talking about we got the highest incarceration rates. And all this stuff. Barely. Get that water alone, bro. I'm about to just give it the rest of these bones. I don't even care. Stop drinking the water, please. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. She walking on gingerly. She thinks she's in trouble. Hmm. Now, all of these bones are okay. You know what I'm saying? All of these bones are okay. And it got a little meat on it. I'm gonna just throw these out there for her. These bones is okay. They're not sharp at all. They don't got no little splinter parts or nothing like that. So she can have all of these bones. Well, like this one, this one's fringy. The fringe one. I don't know if I like that, but she can have that. So she gonna have, like this is a good day for her. She got all these bones. She gonna find them. Um, but yeah, man, it ain't that bad for real. And then you also just gotta know how to talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some people, some people don't know how to get out of a situation. And that's like, that's a life, like not even on some, you know what I'm saying, some street shit. That's just a life skill. Niggas don't know how to get out of a situation or out of a conversation. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that you gotta be able to do. Like, you gotta be able to pick and choose your battles. Like, nah, bro, like, how do I, how the fuck, this person is talking like X, Y, and Z trying to get me riled up. How the fuck do I get out of this situation? How do I move and maneuver? You know what I'm saying? Cause certain shit, you could say, you could say little shit, and it can turn the fuck up. It can turn the fuck up real fast. <sighs> but that's anything, and that's life, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's life. So, um, I had the chicken. Now I got got a nice little side little granola bar. I'm gonna have to toss this piece. Toss this piece for that. Yeah. Here you go, man. So today's Sunday, church day type shit. I said I'm at the communion. Oh, oh, we're running back. I came to communion just to eat food like I'm at a family reunion. I said, damn, happy Sunday, motherfuckers. <laughs> Turn this shit the fuck up. So um Yeah, so we did communion today. Now, you usually do communion. And they give you that little piece of whatever and the little the little cranberry juice. And you just eat that. Here, drink this. Eat this. Remembrance for the bread and the body, the blood in the body, all that, right? But then my pastor was like, we're going to take it back to the olden days. I said, what's going on with the washing of feet? So they, we, really, we were in here really washing feet. So I'm like, oh, snap. I ain't never did this before. Like, how we going? <laughs> so you be mad, scared. Like, damn, who feet I got to wash, yo? So, and not only that, who feet I got to wash? Who going to wash my feet? So, boy, she was on it. You know how your dog start doing tricks that you ain't got ass to do? Look, she waving. Oh, you like this, huh? She going to lay. You ain't got to say shit to her. She going to start doing all her tricks. She going to do a whole bag of tricks here. Um, so we got to wash feet today. And now, if you never done it, it's not as bad. You know what I'm saying? I'll say that. It's not as bad as you think, um, regardless. So we don't do like a whole crazy, like it ain't like super intense, but put the water in the bucket. And he'd be like, if you, if you, um, if you got like thin socks, you can keep your socks on there, but you take our socks off and then you supposed to like, brush the water over their feet and then take the towel and dry their, dry their feet off. You know what I'm saying? Barely. See, that's what I like when she's drinking the water out the creek.
Respect comes from two places, admiration and fear. My dog, my dog, I'm pretty sure my dog loves me. But at the same time, she knows she'll get smacked the fuck up. Look, watch, come here, come here. Cool. Respect. <laughs> she be on go. But the good thing about this though is, she dogs, like, you know, if you got a puppy, they'll pee on themselves. Bailey is so traumatized, she don't need to pee no more. She be like, fuck it. <laughs> bro. I, Cause you know when you first get a puppy, you got a dog, bro. If they get scared about anything that's on the third, or if you jump out and they gotta run or they run away, anything like that, they're gonna pee. Bailey done been Bailey ain't got enough whoopings, bro. She don't pee at all, bro. She she is solid. She want another piece of this though. Come here. Come here. Come here. Wave. Hmm. Stop, man. <laughs> you don't never know when to stop. <laughs> uh, you might be in the dirt. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, get up. You in the dirt? Get up. Um. So. Well, that's what we we had to do communion, and you gotta wash the feet, and so it was funny. Um, I had this incident, right? I had an incident with the one dude, and so it was like a joke. Um, but today, it, I, let me just say, let me just go ahead. Did, what do you think the Illuminati is real? Illuminati, all through all through your body, we hit them with a shoddy. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> Um, do you think they're real? Like, bro, what the fuck? Uh, that's really like a good question, right? Cause it's like, if they're so real, why hide? Why are you hiding? You know what I'm saying? Like anybody else, or like why everything gotta be secret? You know what I'm saying? Like, like what type of like why does why does shit gotta be secret? That's 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 the difference between me and like you know what I'm saying other people like who be in power and stuff like they got all these little secrets just under their boom boom. I'm like, fuck that. I'm going to exert my power. I'm going to let you know who running shit around here, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bitch, I'm this, I'm that. Bitch, I'm running all of this shit. <laughs> like, I, I'm like, I don't understand why everything is so secret. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Um, that's a good question, though. Do you think they're real? Do you think they're real? Cause you gotta be able to. Whenever you answer a question, I used to. I used. I used to. Uh, I taught math, so at one point in math, you got to take real analysis, and you actually got to prove shit. Uh, you got to prove that one plus negative one equals zero. Like you got to prove simple shit. You be like, oh shit, what the fuck, bro? That all the multiplication division is none of that. You got to prove like, is this true? Is one times one half equal to one? You got to prove all that shit. So. Um, you gotta, you just gotta entertain the, the opposite though. If they're not real, like, so do what evidence or proof do you have to say that they are real? You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh yeah, they are real. What evidence or proof? Do you have any concrete evidence or proof of it? But then, the, the, but then that's when the conversation starts to go into a lot of different other stuff like faith. Like, do you believe God is real? Um, Cause it's like, well, what evidence and, and, and proof do you have of that? What do you have any hard pr proof evidence of that? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, do I think they're real? I mean, it's very well possible. You know what I'm saying? That there are secret groups. You know what I'm saying? But a secret group who runs the entire world. It's like, you gotta, it's like, how would you go about it, though? Because to say that they're real, that, that means the government has to be a part of it. To say that it's real, the government has to be a part of it. Because from there, because the government governs the people. You know what I'm saying? And from there, it's then easier to say, you know, okay, we're going to need this person in this, um, to control this mass of people, 
we're gonna need these these society plants to control these mass of people. We're gonna need these society plants, and so uh, so like there has to be they have to be planted everywhere. So the government has to be involved in it. But then it's also like, what's the purpose of it? What would be the purpose of it? Purpose of it, anyway. What would be the purpose of the Illuminati? Like, what's the what would be their grand scheme? What's your end goal? Like, what keeps you going? Like, how do you maintain power? and secrecy. Mm. Mm. Oh no. If, if, if it's like, man, you know you get stuck on something? <laughs> so you get stuck on something like, so, Cause you tell you, I'm telling you, like, if they are, then how do you, like, just what's your purpose? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have an end goal. You gotta have a purpose, something to keep you going. And if the purpose is to control the, and rule the world, like, are they doing a good job at that? Like, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. If, if your purpose is to control the world, do you think they're doing a good job at that shit? And do you think that, cause there's, uh, now this dude, he said, he said something interesting. He said something about chaos magic. And he said, that's what Trump uses. You know what I'm saying? He uses chaos magic and he just turns all this shit. It's just alchemy, you know what I'm saying? Flipping all this shit, um, the negative to the positive to make it all work in your favor. And so, for me to believe it's real, it's like, are they, are things going according to their, to their fucking plan? Uh, now, I think the the best thing, the the sharpest thing that ever happened was the COVID jump. COVID was so weird, bro, cause it was y'all gonna make niggas stay in the house, and then niggas really stayed in the house, and he was like, oh shit, niggas not coming outside. <laughs> This is when we lost the 24-hour Walmarts and shit. Niggas stopped coming outside. I'm like, oh, shit. Y'all niggas is really not going outside. They really got y'all. Damn. The shot. They did the shot, too. I said, damn. That should show you how much willpower people actually had. Um, and just the, the sheep mentality. It was a, it's a sheep mentality. Yeah, of how you could just get people to act and move in a certain way. So that was the that was the the trick. That was how they spun that, bro. That was probably one of the trickiest jobs, for real, for real. Cause mind you, if you're a certain, of a certain age, even if you're just like thirty years old, you've seen. H1N1, you've seen swine flu, mad cow disease. You've seen all these little, uh, what was the, Ebola. Ebola was even an epidemic. So it's like, how, is you, it'd be like, how did you get people to really do this thing, bro? And that's something that you gotta commend them for. Like, how the fuck you get people to really do this? Now, the other little Johns is, uh, the only other scares that we can possibly see um, well, that you kind of already do see is like the, the alien John. That's gonna be, that's gonna be like the next big one. You feel what I'm saying? Like, now there's this old documentary, or it's not even a documentary. It's something, but it's one of the presidents. And he'd be at the little meeting, and he'd be like, uh, he basically saying like, if there was something that could happen or something we could do to just make the you know what I'm saying? If it came from out there and da-da-da, we can get everybody lined up. Because, cause, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very hard, you know what I'm saying, concept to, like, kind of wrap your head around. But, like, with aliens, what, what bruh? 
um, like what, because colonizing anything, right? Going to another city or planning anything like that, you you know that expansion was never like friendly. Um, you saw what the colonists did. So expanding from your, wherever you are and in, in, right into another part of the world is territory. And so if aliens come here, is that shit gonna be friendly? Or is that shit on some territory like we came to take over type of shit? Um, but then you see like a lot of UFO sightings, uh, just big trying to go to space, go to Mars, go to another planet, all this other stuff. So um, it's tough to, you know, think about, it's tough to think about. Uh, do I think they're, I don't know, man. I just don't know. I think that's okay, right? Isn't it okay to just say, I don't know. Um, but who will probably tell us? As Cat Williams. As Cat Williams or Dave Chappelle. But I feel like Dave Chappelle will give you a much. I feel like I feel like Cat. They both can give you a funny answer, but I feel like we'll be able to read Cat's answer a little bit better. <laughs> so. <sighs> so yeah, we had communion today. We had communion today, and it went as best as it was gonna go. You know what I'm saying? So it was smooth. It was real smooth. Um, the one boy, he went first and then passed to wash his feet. And then I think I went and then he washed my feet. Then the boy washed my feet. And then Pastor uh, sat down and I got and I washed Pastor's feet. So it was pretty smooth. We had communion today, and so communion, it was, uh, he do it a couple times. So he prayed, got the cup, boom, then um, we do some praying and singing, then we eat, and after we eat, um, fellowship. After fellowship, it's another cup, and then um, we ate again. Uh, the wheat thins, we did the wheat thins. Wheat thins is good, it's actually busting. We did the wheat thins for the body. Got the grape juice for the uh, for the blood, so boom, and and yeah, so we had communion, sat down, eat, chill, um, pray, sing, and it's cool, man, it's cool. And then I just wanted to make sure I come out and do my vlog for the day. Now my book is supposed to be coming today. My sixth book, my sixth book is coming today. So it's so cool. Um, I was thinking like, duh, how do I want to do this unboxing? Um, and it's like, this, it's been a long, long time coming. So when I first tried to publish my book, it wouldn't let me. Cause uh, when you publish it on KDP and stuff, like it's gonna, it's gonna give you like, it's gonna, you can do a preview like, okay, Flip, you can flip through your book and see what it's gonna look like. And so for me, certain stuff just wasn't adding up right. Like certain stuff was just gonna be on the edge of the pages and this and the third. And so my fifth book, I was, I don't know how I did it, but I got my fifth book published. Um, but what I, when I tried to, so basically all I was trying to do right was in my fifth book, my fifth book, the pages are scattered. So I was gonna write part of the, I wrote the sixth book, but then I was gonna put the, those scattered pages of my fifth book, I was gonna put those in the sixth book and it wasn't working. So I was like, well, forget it. I'll just write them over. So I was writing them over and then I got bored. I got, well not, I got bored. I like, I don't feel like doing this no more. So then I take a whole nother direction. So my sixth book is so weird, bro. It's gonna be weird. Like my books are just really, my books are really weird. So not, it's not even like weird, weird. It's just like, yo, I just kind of got, it's like lazy books, bro. It's like, I kind of just gave up on this shit. And so my sixth book is called Six Graffiti Jungle. And it's a tribute of my response to my Jeep getting repossessed. So I think I outlined a couple of pictures, bro. I can't, bro. When we get the book, we're gonna go through this shit. When I get the book, we're gonna go through this shit. Cause I was thinking about like, okay, well, I guess I can just do both. You know what I'm saying? I guess I can do both. 
Um, Cause I'm just tired. You know, you get tired of like, okay, how I'm gonna do this or how I'm gonna do that, how I'm gonna do this. Uh, and so for me, like, when I'm talking about, I got six. I'm about to. Have, I got six books now. What the? I got six books now. So like, how do you promote these books? And how do I make my videos and, and make like a good commercial or real and this like, that third? And I don't even have a cigar. So I'm not even like that motivated for this shit. Like I'm not motivated to go make a music video because I don't have a cigar or tobacco. So I'm not that motivated to do this shit anyway. So I'm gonna just, like if the book comes like within the next, you know what I'm saying, whatever, while I'm on a live, I'll, I'll do a live unboxing and then I'll make like an actual video for all my books, you know what I'm saying? I just make it because I, I haven't posted too much long form content anyway. Like, I just be doing the streams because the streams is easy, and then you know, the shorts, the shorts is when I'm really having fun. Like, when I do like those, are, I'm a, I had the most fun when I'm doing the shorts because I'm about to go grab the outfits, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting, I got a scheme, I got this on the third one, boom. Like, I'd be going in for the shorts. <laughs> um, and now, nah, but the reason I do that though is because it's also. I can use the music on my shorts. I, you can't do that for the long form content. You can't do that. So that's why I be going in on the shorts. Um, the live streams is just easy. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I don't care. I'm just streaming. Boom, boom, boom. That's the consistency, the easy part of it. And then the long form, the long form is always like, those are the ones I actually like. Because, you know, I like, I, I enjoy editing, but I enjoy editing the music video shorts. I don't enjoy editing the long form content. <laughs> Ah. Bless you. Um, I think we can go sit on the tire or something. We can go sit on the tire. Cause I'm, I need something to sit on, man. I need something to sit on. And then, oh, I think the other part is like, if people ever ask me, you know, well, what made you think to do this or do that? So it'd be like, the shit make me laugh, bro. Like, I'd be doing some shit, and then whatever makes me laugh, that's what I go with. So like today, I was looking through my favorite pictures, and I was like, if you was a model, and you take mad, all your pictures is lit. You want me to add, you want me to choose one picture? Yeah. I was looking at the picture, I was like, bitch, I'm a male supermodel. <laughs> I said, bro, bro, I was looking at my pictures, bro. And cause I, I feel like I was looking at somebody else. And it's like, that's something that you would ask me like, yeah, what's your favorite picture? But I was looking at my pictures, bro. And I was like, yo, I got too many good, nice pictures, bro. I was like, I, I was like, fuck, I'm a male supermodel. Cause it's like, what's the easiest shit you could do, bro? What's the easiest, peasiest, lemon squeeziest shit you could do? For me, the shit was easy. Oh, 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 oh. Coming up to here. It was easy to dog on um, write books, do the freestyles. That shit is so fucking easy to me, right? So that's why I be doing that shit. But modeling, bro, because I was like, yo, oh, this, I, okay, this is the freestyle I put this morning. I said, the music video come through looking like a fashion show at the rodeo. I put a kimono on and pop up in Tokyo. Niggas think I'm lying, call me Pinocchio. But I'm telling the truth when I, don't, when I say I don't want your hoe. That's a tired hoe. I got a crazy flow. And all that shit was because I was thinking I, was, I could be a male supermodel. I wrote that shit just because I was like, yo, all my music videos is like a fashion show at the rodeo. Bro, I can't fucking wait to just live on a ranch. I'm talking salad dressing. <laughs> White shit that be really messy. Who around the ranch? Well, ants can run at ranch. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a cowboy out here on the ranch. My rodeo so clean it ain't got no ants. All right, what else do I want to ranch a little better? Dance. Well, see, dance where I want ants and ranch. I don't know. Now I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm out here at the rodeo ranch. My house so clean. Ain't got no ants. 
I'm just a party host. Everybody like to dance, prance, rants. Now, rants, rants, like, you just be ranting, you just be talking, like a tyrant, tyrant, like Tyranitar, I like Pokemon. Hey, bro, hey, bro, I see. <laughs> bro, my, the flow is too crazy, bro, and it's too easy. I said, I'm not a rapper, I'm just a content creator, but you really a hater. Come on, bro, the, the bars are too easy. The bars is too easy, bro. I said, I, all I said, all I do is play Pokemon. I'm legendary, bro. That's the shit I be writing. I be writing so shit and just be going. I said, all I play is Pokemon. I'm legendary. I said, fuck the potential. Got some motion. It's really scary. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm not a rapper. I'm a content creator. But you really a hater. Bro, I need a freaking slogan. Like my name, Wolverine. I mean, Paul Logan. I mean, Jake Paul. I mean, Logan Paul. <laughs> I said all this because I need a slogan. I need a fucking slogan, dude. I need a stable. A stable outfit. I need a stable. Like a horse. I need a stable. A car like a Porsche. I need something stable, not a horse. I'm talking, I need a stable car like a Porsche. Rarries and Rovers. I said, fuck that. I need Lambos and Wranglers. The bitch into kinky shit. She told me to strangle her. I just ate my chicken in the woods. I had to mangle her. I don't even tie my shoes. I just tangle them. A ranga tangler. Like a mangala. They said, man, if you see me and a mango, just give us our peace. <laughs> Niggas be fucking the mango up, boy. <laughs> if you see me and a mango together by ourselves, just give us our peace. What, man? Bailey, go play, bro. You be like, dang, bro. We outside. We are we at least outside. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Just go play, bro. She like, I want to play with you. I want to play with you. That's my boo. Who you? Blues clues. That's true. Miss you. Mew. I told you I like Pokemon Mew. Mew too. I got the <laughs> I got the flu. Got the bird flu. That nigga got a this ease, you put them at this ease. That means that is not easy. Lemon squeezy peasy. I'm talking rapping harder than Jeezy. And then I put my, I put the shoes on. I'm talking Yeezy. Dude, these niggas greasy. The dude real life said I would never wear Nike and Adidas together. I said, bro, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, people trying to have, like, rules to this shit. Like, y'all niggas can't dress for real. Y'all niggas still trying to put the same colors together. Oh, the black and red go with black and red. <laughs> I throw anything to fuck on, bro. I be throwing anything to fuck on that's going to be... I'm a male supermodel. That's why... That shit made me fucking laugh, bro. That's like with my other book. Then when I had to price my books, Amazon be like, how much do you want your book to cost? And then at first I was gonna put it at one price and then another price came to my head and I started laughing. I said, I said, what? Why would I make my, my book cost this much? Who makes a book cost this much? And then I was like, fuck it. If they not buying a book anyway, then what the fuck does it matter? I'm, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna just put that shit out there. Be delusional. Oh, it's Mr. Delusional. Creating an illusion with his words, boy. All right, we are, we are playing Pokemon Violet. And I chose this nigga Quaxley. I called him, I called him Q Wayne 777. Now, 
the thing about when you're playing Pokemon and stuff, like if you just really enjoy catching and playing Pokemon, I still think Arceus is the best Pokemon game. But on this one, you be looking to see what's the new Pokemon. Now, Pokemon look way different than it used to look, bro. Like you used to be able to look at a Pokemon and be like, oh, this is based off of this. Like we could see uh, the joint, it was based off a tree. I forget his name, Sudowoodo. You see a Sudowoodo, like all oh, that nigga look like a tree. You can see uh, Lady Ba. Oh, I just took a nap. So this almost like, then you know how they be talking about, you need to have, I don't know if y'all been seeing them like mix games together. They need to mix Pokemon with Grand Theft Auto. That's what the fuck needs to happen. If you mix Pokemon and Grand Theft Auto together, you got a banger. Now, I went to sleep, and why is she in my room? Her name is Nimona. She is in my room. I just woke up. We got to go to the school rock, schoolyard, director's orders. Yeah, look, my boy looking around like, bro, what? Where do you want to go? We got to go to the schoolyard, duh. <laughs> You thinking they give you a free choice and it's like you can only go here anyway i got it we gotta go to the schoolyard uh you got something in your nose god damn it y'all can y'all please find a new joke or find something else bro god damn <laughs> bro it's a rocket in my nose i got a sprocket rocket bro what the fuck Bro, y'all really gotta do, bro. Y'all gotta think, bro. If I can see myself in the fucking camera, don't you think I would see this shit? I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. I don't mean to be rude. But I hope you're not trying to be rude. But if you are, that's crude. But I don't give a fuck about what you say. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you got an attitude. <laughs> nah, I just be joking, bro. Explore probably there's abundant nature. So can just go to Pokemon and live there. And get to know the people too. See, you always get a classic Pokemon. Where will you travel? Who you will meet? And what you will achieve? I'm supposed to be paying attention. Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together, learn new things, share each one. Okay, because I actually have to pay attention to this shit. I don't want to pay attention to this shit right now. I'm going to just have to update y'all the next time I play. I'm saying, okay, this y'all, this is what the fuck happened. Because I need to learn how I can stream so y'all can see my fucking stream. I need to learn how to, whatever I got to do so that y'all can stream, so that y'all can see my screen while I play. And then I can navigate, I can just narrate my, me playing and shit. But this is my first time. I got the other version of the game. So it's like on this version, I kind of just want to kind of like, kind of actually just go through it and then go from there. Hey! Now, do I still got the game? There's one more game that's not in here. Um, oh, that's really not a burger. God damn. You know how to be like, I ain't heard that joke since I fell off my dinosaur. You be like, God damn, can niggas say something different? <laughs> Bro, I be trying to tell y'all. If a bitch got pretty eyes, don't compliment her on her eyes, bro. You know what I'm saying? She probably hear that shit a thousand times. Bro, I remember I got one drunk because I said something about her voice. I'm like, yo, your voice, this on the third. She said, most niggas talk about my eyes. Like, you bet you said something about this. Like, <coughs> I mean, that means I'm on my shit. I mean, sneezing, wheezing. Come on, man. This why I be sneezing. <laughs> but this is the part where you train your dog a certain way, bro. You train your dog to the point where it's like, I don't have to move. Like, <coughs> I can sit in one spot and my dog gonna bring me whatever it is that she wanna play with at the moment. <coughs> oh, there go that butterfly. My dog gonna bring me. Can you see how that would be the first reaction from someone who's never been here? Hey, you know how they say, when you step into a room, read the fucking room. <laughs> read the energy. Read the energy. Um, so I guess like, when I first got this shit, bro, I didn't know why the fuck I got this shit anyway. If you would have asked me two years ago, literally, if you would have asked me two years ago, would I ever get a nose pierce? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, no. <clears throat> but it's really, 
I bet I I really, I really gotta study myself on some shit like why the fuck did you do this or why did you do that? And it's like I don't be knowing, bro. I do not be knowing. Like I, I went, but it's like. I literally used to look at other people like, yo, why you got tattoos? Why you got these piercings? Why you just on that there? I'm like, I ain't never had no pair, no piercings, no tattoos, no nothing. And then, so I, I got this and it's like, of all places, why did you get, you know what I'm saying, your nose? And it's like, well, as a man, what the fuck, where else would you really get your shit? Cause you know, with the ears, they'd be like, oh, well, you got it. If you're going to do your ear, you can only do the left ear. Um, you know what I'm saying? Cause we talking about, the, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We talk about it. But if you do your right ear, that means something. You do your left ear, yeah. You you le left ear, you good. You do the right ear. You do your left or you do both. You know what I'm saying? So as a man, you can either do your left ear, you do both. And I ain't feel like it's going. I don't know why I ain't feel like doing my my nose, my ears. Um, but when I look at piercings, though, those are only those are only were options for real. Now in the ear, though. The other thing, cause I, I, you know, see, you know how you look at sex appeal, like niggas be doing shit and they be thinking trying to do it for a certain reason. Cause I'm like, I do shit cause it look cool. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like for ears though, that industrial, I think the industrial is hard. Now I don't necessarily see myself at one, but I think the industrial is hard. Now when I got this though, I don't know what the fuck made me do that shit, bro. I don't know what the fuck, cause mind you, it was, it won't, it was cheap. She was like fifty dollars, right? And then, so, bro. But it's like you gotta work on yourself, right? You gotta work on yourself. Whatever it is, you feel like you gotta do to make yourself feel more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Be attractive to yourself. Whatever it is, right? And so, bro. But I, but I tell you this though. I tell you this though. And it's gonna be different for everybody in different areas. You know what I'm saying? Different shows, different folks. Why do you do something that you don't know? Why? Cause it looks cool to you. Facts, bro. I do shit cause it look cool. Cause it, I think it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what anybody else say. If they think it's cool or not, I just think this shit cool. So it's like, you shouldn't be smoking. Oh, well, bitch, don't, you don't smoke, but let me live my life. How I'm going to live it. You know what I'm saying? I do shit cause it look cool. I smoke the cigar pipes. I smoke the tobacco. Why? The shit is cool. And it's also therapeutic to me. But I tell you like this, bro. After I got that shit though, um, cause the bitch asked me, she was like, what you think about it? I was like, I oh, don't know, man. I was, I, cause this, when you do this shit, now everybody different, but a tear came down my eye, bro. I was just, and when she touched that shit and they moved, I said, oh fuck, damn. I started, I ain't cry, but a tear dropped down. I said, oh shit, bro. This shit was like tough. Uh, she said, what you think about it? I said, I don't know. I said, I can't believe I just did this shit. But like that day, bro, this something tough, bro. I don't know. It was just big to me. And this is how I remember this shit, bro. I just remember like looking in the mirror and saying, I love me. Like I love you. Like that was one of the that was that's that's the one memory I have associated with my nose ring, bro. Like I daggone. I just remember going home, bro, and looking in the mirror. And I remember when she asked me, I was like, I don't fucking know. I don't know what this and the third. But that's a good question. Why the fuck do you do anything? Why you do why do you do anything that you do? You know what I'm saying? They say nurture nature versus nurture. Why do you do or say anything that you do or say? You know what I'm saying? Why do you come in? Why do you want to joke somebody? Why do you want to judge somebody? Why do you want to do this and the third? Why do you do? Why do you do or say anything that you do or say? And you don't. You don't have a reason for that shit. But something telling you to do it. <clears throat> so that was the first time, bro. It was that. But I also just got the tattoo too. So it's like when I look at this shit, right? I like back at this shit. It's like how many tattoos you got? One. How many piercings you got? One. It's just like you here for life and you just came to experience some shit. Just do some shit. So that's what I did, bro. That's what I did. <clears throat> that's what the fuck I did. Uh, but at, around this same time, though, I had also I had went and I went to the mall and I was like, you know what? I'm only getting shit that remind me of Italy. That I and I did not pick up any clothes. If the shit didn't remind me of Italy or didn't make me look like a movie director, I ain't want it. I said, if it don't remind me of Italy and it don't make me feel like a movie director, I'm not picking it up. But I realized I went to the mall just for that, John, bro. I remember I, I had caught a couple shirts just because of that. And those are, like, when I look at my fits now, those is the those is the shirts that I uh, that I actually saved. All the all that school dressing up in suits and stuff, I let all of that go. Well, except for one. I kept one blazer. Cause that blazer was tough. It was a, it's like this yellow blazer. That's all that's tough. Um, but yeah, bro, I just got this on. Well, it's about to be, uh, this is April. I got my nose pressing in May. So it's about to be, I about to have this drink for a year. 
And so, there's other things, because some people be looking at, like, they, they be wanting to do certain shit, too. Now, you got choices. Now, I was not fucking with the hoop. You tell me what's good in the neighborhood. Always good, like grandma cookies. <sighs> Sitting back, eating a baklava bit bookie. <sighs> now, what's good? It's Sunday. <clears throat> it's the, we got an eclipse tomorrow. Niggas is, hey, bro, oh, I don't got my shades with me. If I had my shades, bro, I could, I'd dead ass. I'd be looking at the sun anyway for fun. I'd be looking at the sun anyway for fun. See, but now I can't see my, I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you ever used to go to the air show with the airplanes and you, and you gotta wear the shades so you can see the airplanes in the sky doing their tricks and stuff? Um, but hell yeah, the eclipse is tomorrow, bro. Because I was getting annoyed. I was like, why the eclipse always got to happen at night when we fucking sleep? I need that shit to happen during the day. Now it's about to finally happen during the day. Sub. That's what sub. Sub. Dub. Do you watch the animes subbed or dubbed? That's a good fucking question. I watch all my movies. I need my whole life. Now, hey, there's not, there's not even some shit that's not even... It's like, it's like I can say this shit and it's not even like funny. Because we about to have the... Everybody about to have the Apple Pro glasses. Now, you can, you can learn real live... When people talk to you, you think it's gonna have subtitles and shit. That shit gonna be so fucking fire, bro. That shit gonna be lit as a bitch. You gonna be in Japan with the Apple Pro, right? And somebody gonna say some shit to you. They gonna say this shit to you in, in, in Japanese, but then your Apple Pro gonna just translate that shit right there, like, Konnichiwa, Domo Arigato, da 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 whatever they saying, right? And the shit just gonna translate the shit right there. And it's gonna be in English. That shit gonna be so fucking fire, bro. You go, you see the Apple glasses doing that shit. That shit gonna be so fucking fire. Um, but it's like, yo, you need my, sometimes you be needing your, uh, you need, I watch shit on subtitles, bro. And it's like, I don't know. It'd be hard for me to watch stuff with people. Cause I'd be wanting to really understand something in depth. So I'd be rewinding it. I got to know what, what this person said. And if, it, and if it's a good quote, if they say a bar in the, in the movie, like that's why I like, uh, that's why I was watching Peaky Blinders. I got to get back on Peaky Blinders, bro. I was watching Peaky Blinders. They were saying bars in that shit, bro. I, I, I got to keep pausing just to write some shit down. Like, in Peaky Blinders, now it's a good, it's a good fucking thing, right? Dude say, well, it's not good, but it's just something that you don't really think about. A mom. When the dad leaves the mom, the mom's a whore, the, the child's a bastard, but there's no name for the father that leaves. That's a fucking question, bro. That was a bar. That was a bar. I said, damn, because that shit true. It's, there's, like, it's a, it's a one word. Whore, bastard. There's no one word for the dad that leaves. Deadbeat, father, that's too many words. <laughs> I'm saying one word. There's no one word for that shit. And it's like, why, though? Why, though? That's a good fucking question. Now, the bitch got on some talking about some shit. She was like, she was like, hookup culture uh, killed dating. I said, hookup culture is dating dating is hookup culture like that's what the fuck this shit is and she was like i'm dating and married that's what the fuck is wrong with you you don't hear men talking about they want to get married and shit why because they know that shit's a bad fucking deal <laughs> niggas do not want to sign up for that shit <clears throat> niggas don't want to sign up shit for that shit but bitches do and it's like they had this very good question dude asked a very good question one time he was like, why would you pressure a man to get into a relationship when at some point you, your sex drive gonna fall off? Cause, cause you know what I'm saying? Her, her sex drive, you know what I'm saying, lowered. And it was, you know what I'm saying? It's understandable. You you had kids, you gotta maintain a house, you gotta cook clean. You, yeah, I, mean, I understand that shit. But why try to pressure a man to just be settled down with you when his sex drive, you know, he's still not fulfilled. He still has to do the boom, boom, boom. But then you can also flip the shame shit back on the men the same way. Like, okay, if a bitch look at you and say that you, that, um, that you not fulfilling her and that, yeah, she like you, but she want to fuck you and this other nigga. What the fuck you going to say? What the fuck you going to do? <laughs> what the fuck you going to say? What the fuck you going to do? When a bitch look at you. Now, with bitches start doing that shit to, to the dudes, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you gonna be out here fucking? I'm gonna be out here fucking too. And that was a story, that was this one Jane, right? These niggas went to the jump. And so the girl was like, nah, I don't wanna go to this party because at the party you gotta share your partner with her, they like swingers or something. And so dude like, nah, let's go. So she was like, you wanna go? 
you want to go all right bet so she go up in this bitch and like bro that would be the craziest shit bro like i remember there used to be the <laughs> on the meme like when you ask your bitch about about herself cheating on you you like did you give him the neck too like damn you neck this nigga up too like oh fuck like <laughs> hey bro i remember watching one day bro and all right Everybody, nobody will admit to that they watch porn or nothing like that. But back in the day, this shit used to be heavy. I say back in the day. <laughs> so back in the day. You watching the joke. Now, now, at my age now, I understand that the titles, the titles be anything. The title, the title just be, you like, you could probably see the same video with different titles. You're like, man, I just saw this shit over here. You know they fucking lying. This ain't just under the third world. They just making this shit up. But anyway, there was this one title though. And it was like, the husband had hired a private investigator and he eventually saw that his wife was cheating you know what i'm saying so it's like a camera set up in the house and his wife cheating and so the dude come over you know what i'm saying now what broke my heart this is what broke my heart it was like you know how like you can watch a sex scene and you're like damn i wish i was there that's how this fucking shit was and that's why i felt so bad for the nigga because i was like damn is she necking the nigga up like this? I said, oh, fuck. <laughs> bro, that shit got me. Bro, it's like, okay, like, this, these are real life questions, right? Because these, these are actually real life scenarios. Like, so let's say your bitch cheated on you, and then you actually see a video of this shit. It's like, would you, you would feel less bad if she was like apprehensive or scared or shy or she ain't really give into it. But if she really fucked this nigga, like she throwing it back, she giving this the best top in the neck you ever seen, you be like, God damn, you really went in. <laughs> hey, that's the shit that would break your heart, bro. That shit would break your fucking heart, bro. Oh, shit. You be like, damn, if you was gonna at least cheat, could you at least be like, feel remorseful about it? But that's what got me about that, Jake, bro. The, the shit was so good. I said, damn, she throwing it back. She da 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 da. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, because you know what that do happen? I think that happens on um, Ozarks. I think that shit happened on Ozark. Um, he found out his wife was cheating. Like, this is, you know, you've been in them situations. Ozark, bro. Ozark, bro. He found out his wife cheating on him. And, bro. It, it's the worst because it's like you then start to make certain connections like oh reasons why they say or do certain stuff and it's because they picked it up with somebody else that they've been fucking and i ain't i ain't gonna you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna say i'm a witness but i you know what i'm saying i done been there you know what i'm saying bitches be fucking other people and then they come back to you with some new shit and it's like bitch where you oh it's like the end of that kanye song the blame game bitch where you learn how to do this that bitch is for the street. She learned some shit, boy. You be, you be, you be thinking like your wife or your your girl or whatever that she uh that she she trying something new. She been this on the third. That's cause some other nigga done taught her. Mm mm mm. The other nigga done you know, turned around this on the third. Now she trying to come back and do it with you. But also when people cheat, another thing about them cheating, they uh how do I say this? Um, they it's not that they feel bad. It's like they'll feel bad about the cheating later or something maybe but they also kind of gotta uh make up for it like they gotta like because they cheated they gotta make up for their cheating with you and like so they they become really like on you about some shit so it's like they get super freaky and it's not there with you because they cheated so it's like yeah, i hope that kind of makes sense <laughs> oh shit bro but yeah that changed my life that porn video changed my fucking life and it was solely because of the effort she gave. She gave such an astounding effort. <laughs> she gave such an astounding performance in bed. You was like, damn, if you gonna cheat, this is how you gonna, but then, hey, they say, go hard or go home. So you like, cause if you fucking somebody, you gotta understand. You never know when it's your last time fucking that person. So you got to go hard right then and there. Like your name, is, your name is out here in these streets. So if somebody ever talking, they got to be it. They, they can't lie on you. You know what I'm saying? They can't say, oh, this and the third, boom, boom, boom. They got, you got to, you got to put it down. You know what I'm saying? You got to. 
So it's like, if you're going to cheat, then you might as well, right? You got to go all in because that's your name on the line. So it's going to be like, yo, at least this nigga was a good cheater. You got to be like that, yo. You like, shit, if you're going to go out here and cheat on your bitch, you got to be putting it down, bro. Because you can't have nobody talking bad about your sex game. So same thing for the bitches. If they going to cheat, they can't have nobody bad mouthing them. They can't have a nigga that they cheating with say that the sex was bad. That's some embarrassing shit. <laughs> like, you cheating. Not only that, because they were probably going to know that you cheating, too. So I'm like, yeah, this bitch. I got this bitch to cheat on this nigga. This and the third, boom, boom, boom. Shit was whack as fuck. Because <laughs> then you really going to feel bad about cheating. Like, damn. All right. You went out here, did your most to cheat. And then the shit was whack. That, then, then that's when you really be like, bro, what the fuck was I here doing anyway? Oh shit, that's some shit, man. Oh shit. But yeah, bro. I say all that to say, the title of the porn video does not matter. They just be lying. They just be making shit up to make it sound spicy, make you go click on this shit. <laughs> Shit don't be real. Now, when you go to now, everybody got preferences, right? <laughs> I don't know why I'm sticking on this. <laughs> but when you go to the jump, now I said this is back in the day. Not I'm not talking presently and currently, I'm talking back in the day. So back in the day, right? When you go to chick on the jump, you got it, they got categories and shit. They got categories and shit. Now, the category is not for real though there's certain categories that you go to right so i it was i don't know if it's called i don't know what it's called anymore all right but back in the day it was either called homemade or it's called point of view now the reason i go to those that section is because they're homemade like those is these not scripted these are real people so like <laughs> So on the section, I go to the homemade section or the point of view section, whatever one it is. But these are real people. And these, they real, you know what I'm saying? They, this ain't made up. These ain't no real. These are, so you can catch some generic people. And like, so you realize I be getting it in. And so that teaches you on some shit too. Like, I remember seeing one boy. This is, I don't know why I'm on this, but this is tangential thought chat. So we're going to stay on this anyway. So the one boy, it was dope. If you never did it, then you can't really do a third. So... What he do is, I think his shorty is in the, uh, his shorty is, I think she cooking in the kitchen. And then you realize, see him put, set the camera up or whatever. And then he walk over there. She, mind you, she cooking. She cooking, but he get the kiss on her neck and you know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. And then he's spanking that thing right in the kitchen, boy. Shit was, shit was lit. That shit was lit. Um, then, or the shorties who like, the shorties, you know what I'm saying? You know how to say a lady in the streets with a freak in the bed. That shit. Um, the shorty, what she do? You even appreciate the shorties that'll do the, that do that same thing. So like, uh, what the shorty do? She, uh, Cause that that make you like the video right there, bro. Um, Shorty, she set the camera up. Her dude playing the game, and then she start necking him up while he playing the game. And it's like, well, damn, bitch. But you respect her. On that. that shit was lit. That shit was lit. It's the it's the vibes. It's the vibes. Um, and so it's those ones, bro. It's those ones. And so, cause it's just really interesting to see where people, you know, what I'm saying, have sex at, and you figure out they be having sex. Anywhere, everywhere, all the time, and you just probably just didn't know it. Um, so that's on those. This is on my list of things to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, I've had sex on the beach, and <laughs> is it as glorious as they talk about? It depends on the situation. So. <laughs> With us, we in Puerto Rico. We in Puerto Rico. Ah, uh, shit. I don't know. Okay. It's like, should you be talking about this? But it's like, 
As long as the win no face, no case, right? No face, no case, no case, no trace. Whatever. So we in Puerto Rico. And uh we went to a uh, what's the thing? All you can drink. All you can drink. So it's the open bar. Uh something abierta and then bar, whatever bar is, I feel like abierto is open. But whatever open bar is in Spanish. So we went to an open bar. So we had the open bar. Drinking, drinking, drinking. Eating, eating, vibing, chilling, dancing, just like that. All that good shit, right? <laughs> I think we get drunk. I think we drunk. I don't know why we decided to leave. So we decided to leave. I think we got ice cream, too. This shit was lit. This shit is lit. <laughs> so I think we got ice cream. And then we go to... Um, we're walking on the beach. <sighs> now, the thing about it is the beach was like closed. So like you might catch a couple of stragglers, like people walking along the beach, but the police was coming through and saying like, get off the beach, get off the beach, the beach is closed. So we decide to like, I ain't gonna give y'all all the details. I ain't gonna give y'all the details. I'll spare you the details. But the shit was funny. It was fun and funny. Because <laughs> we started on one spot. Then the cops was coming. So we got the fuck up and we ran. We ran to the opposite end. And we got it in again. And then when we saw the cops again this time, we got up and fucking ran to the room. The shit was fucking lit. Good times, good times. But the reason I say is this shit as glorious as it seems. If you're going to have sex on the beach, you probably need to bring a towel. <laughs> I would say bring a towel. So the sand isn't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bring a nice blanket or towel or something. And it might be a little more glorious. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to reenact that somehow, some way. And then um, I'll tell you if, if a pillow or sand or whatever makes a difference. <sighs> okay, how do we get there? It's Sunday, <laughs> on the Lord's Day. Goodness gracious, bro. Now the only other thing I be trying to watch my father, bro. No, that's what I was trying to say. Like the good and bad part about having a dog. Like I don't have to move anywhere, right? You told me to see me. My dog gonna bring whatever. <laughs> I don't gotta beg her, nothing like that, to go get me to stop bringing something back. That's not that. <laughs> but then you see, it's your stuff getting all over your clothes and stuff, and. She can cry because you ain't throwing it quick enough or soon enough. Um, and, but I don't know how you can get your dog to, like, respect your property. Respect my authority. I think that's from South Park. Like, respect my property, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you can get your dog to, like, not step on this, not knock this over, avoid this, stop that. Like, that would be actually okay, bro. Bailey don't have me having no, nothing's off guards or off limits, bro. Nothing is off guards or off limits. All right, it's three o'clock. Facts. So, I'm really just waiting on my book, bro. I'm waiting on my book. And it said it'll be here before the clock. Now. Could I keep the stream going until 8 o'clock? But it's going to be here before that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be here before that. But I'm really looking for this book, man. I'll do the unboxing on the live. And then and then I, I think I'll do a long-form content for all my books. It's just to say, hey, this is my first book. This is why I wrote my first book. Well, that's not, I, I need to start thinking about that. Let me just think about that now. So when I actually do the long form content, see the lives is my practice. My lives is my practice. I can mess up and stuff here. And then my long form content, I can have it down pat. But why did I write my first book? Oh, oh, oh. This was a couple months after the breakup and I needed something to get my mind off of that. And Valentine's Day was coming and it was just too much for me, right? So that's what sparked me to write the first book. The second one is a continuation of that, but this, again, some more heartbreak. It was over this time. And my uncle and my sister and my ex-friend, they all, you know what I'm saying, did some shit. So then that tells that side of the story. So that's my first two books. My third book was in January of this year. 
and I decided to look back on like, cause I like I went homeless and I started living out the Jeep. But at the same time, I started doing a whole bunch of other shit. Cause it's like, cause there's two parts, right? It's like, yo, you could have kept teaching and then you still could have done all this other stuff. But I'm like, th this, this path and this journey here made me learn how to fish. It made me learn. I had like, because of this, this is why I learned how to fish. I learned how to crochet. I went to go get the fish. I started doing my podcast. It's like, because I was put in a certain situation is why I can watch it. So my third book, um, I saw a lot of people, you know, towards the end of the year, a lot of artists do art versus artists. And so I kept seeing art versus artists. And, but it got to a point where, because I'm living out the car, it's a little harder to do art, but I was still trying, but my art became different. It became much more expansive. And so, and cause it's like, well, what type of art do you do? Cause you tell somebody you're an artist, some people, depending on who you talk to, they think you do music. Some people you think you talk to, they think you do painting, drawing. Like they don't know what type of artist you are. And that was my thing too. I don't know what type of artist I am. I'm just so expressive, I'm so creative. So in my book, Art Versus Artist, I started doing that too. But I was like, I was like, all these freestyles I'm doing, let me just turn them into a book. So I, I did the, I took all my freestyles, I went to the library, typed them all up and did that. And then it was also because like, I'm not, I'm also not a hater. So when I see somebody who's really good at art or something like that, I can, I definitely appreciate them. And like, there was this one boy, I was like, yo, can I pay you? Cause he has a very unique style. I was like, can I, can I pay you to paint me so I can make it my book cover? He never responds to me. So, but I look at rejection like, well, shit, then I'm supposed to just do, I can just do this, do this shit myself. Like, that's my thing about art though, it, too, though. When it comes down to any type of art, anything like that, I can replicate anything. Like art is super easy for me. So I was like, I don't need this nigga to do this shit. I was just was feeling lazy. And I just don't feel like painting anymore. I don't feel like doing. I don't feel like doing art anymore. For real. that was my thing. Um, so, but I just took some of my old art and then turned those into book covers. And it was just funny because I had painted a couple self portraits of myself. So I just put the the portrait and the original picture as a book cover. So that was that was that book. But the first book, Art versus Art is Mamba Edition. It was you can publish. Um, so anybody else who's thinking about writing a book or anything like that, you can publish a book, but you need at least 25 pages for a paperback. So that's what I did just to get that book done. I published it in a day. I went to the library all in one day. I, and then literally like, it's like that. I'm currently at the library. Is this current time? Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I finished this book at this time. Boom. So I finished that, published it. Boom. One day. Then, uh, but it was paperback and I don't like paperback books for real. So I, I was like, I will. I got to go ahead and just finish it. It's on my mind. Let me go ahead and finish it. So I went and did 50 more for little freestyles. Because then you also, you like look at other people like, who's the girl? She, she wrote Milk and Honey. Um, some of her stuff is okay, but some of the stuff is like, eh, but it's like she has a whole book and she's like super popular for us. I'm like, yo, this shit is like easy. And I looked at her book and so I'm like, bro. And so I just kept going. I just did my whole book. And so I wrote some more freestyles. But it's like other shit that I had in my head, like puzzles, comic book. All this other shit. So I just started implementing little stuff, small stuff in there. And I was like, well, fuck the typos too. Like, just forget it. I don't care no more. You know what I'm saying? Just get it done. So that was my fourth book. And so my fourth book has the poetry. And I think it has the, the puzzle in the back and it's like there. Now my fifth book. My fifth book is called Five. And I think I've told people why I wrote that book already. And so if you go listen to the audio book for that book. But basically it was because somebody i met somebody who wanted to buy my books but i couldn't give her the poetry books because they're vulgar so i wrote a book about the weekend that i met her and that whole ordeal uh so that's my fifth book and then my sixth book happened right after the uh right after what um oh my car got repossessed right after the g got repossessed and so that's what I'm on now, bro. So I'm like ready for that. Now I make the long form content. Motivation for writing six books. But like, why did I write six books? I keep I keep checking the email. Cause you know you're gonna get that email saying, delivered. Oh, I can't wait, boy. I don't know. It's hot. It's, it's a little hot outside, you know. Man. I might go back into the shade. Man, I was, I was cool in the shade. All right, we go back to the shade. Oh, I didn't have nowhere to sit over there. And I'm conscious about, cause I lost my log. It was a log over there. It started raining and then the rain washed the spider out, washed the log all down the stream. Oh, just shout out. We got, uh, I think I had like 
We just got like four new subscribers, you know what I'm saying? So thank you, thank you, thank you. But like four new subscribers. And that's why it's like, the certain shit just gotta work, right? The cigar music videos, like my shorts, facts. Like, bro, that'd be the most annoying James, bro. The most annoying James. Hold on, I gotta move to the shade. I'm getting hot for real. That's my nigga for real. Oh, it was just for our birthday the other day. But apparently he got some news allegations. I don't know what the fuck he got going on. Oh, man. Let me go right here. Oh, shoot. Oh, Like right here, baby, keep bringing me the ball to play with. You know what's awesome, man? Now we can kind of do that, though. Jump on the trampoline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Man, she be looking like that. It's like the hardest thing to play kickball with her, bro. Her reflexes is on point. And she be, she just as competitive as me. She be in a race to get to the ball before the ball even um, get to where it gotta go. Like, that's why, that's why it be hard for me to kick this up right for I gotta stand at a certain angle. See, so like, like this is I can I can get a good kick right here. Watch. Damn, she fucked up. Oh no, she had a paw on it. And that be the other part. She she got her paw on it. So it was like, how you want? I'm supposed to kick it, Bailey. Oh, you so cute, <laughs> Bailey, Bailey. <laughs> how I'm supposed to kick this shit if you uh, got your paw on it? It's like what in the world, bruh? What game do you want to play here? What game do you want to play? Oh, so yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> See, now be the <laughs> I done kicked her with the ball. All right, we're going back to the river. Down by the river. I was born by the river. Rip, 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 rip. I was going by the river. She was shaking her ass. <laughs> We gotta bring it back. Bring that shit the fuck back. Bring that shit the fuck back, DJ. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't give it to him like that. Okay, we can say it. We can say it. Air condom and disorder. I just need something to sit on. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. Let's see if we got a little. 
We can definitely sit on this. All right, all right. You guys want to sit on? I guess I'm my holding it. Do something different. That'd be my only other thing about this all just too. Like, let's do something different, bro. Can you say different? I mean, legitly. All right, so my phone is being held up. I just, oh God, I just want to see so you see, so you see what's up. This little contraption right here is just laying like this. But I'm gonna put my my phone can fit right here, so I'm gonna just lay it on top of this, and it's gonna sit. All right. We got we back in action. Action Jackson. Oh, don't don't touch that. Don't touch that. Back for nothing. So, and I, see, it's always where my phone is, too, man. <laughs> Leave this branch alone, man. So, yeah. Man. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. First thing people, Bailey. First thing people, you got something in your nose. It's always that for a bugger or something, right? And there's one John said, if you want a video to go viral, spell something wrong, and people gonna jump in the comments trying to correct you. And Bailey, <laughs> please. Bro. And so. That's the thing. The the need to be right. Everybody wants to be right. Who wants to be wrong? I'm trying to think of the line. You can be my judge, baby. I do life. Give me life. <laughs> Nobody wants to be wrong. I'm giving a fuck on you. Right or wrong, bitch. You, you do what the fuck you think and want to say. I ain't wrong, bitch. Nah, I bought them the water. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Who got to play with it? What you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? I'm not touching. I don't want to touch the ball, man. It's wet. <laughs> I don't to touch it in a few minutes. Well, let's not say a few minutes. In a few seconds. She's going to... And she's going to push it, kick it, and do whatever with it. And that's going to set the phone again. <sighs> As soon as you engage, she's gonna want to keep playing. She's gonna want to keep playing. She's like, what am I supposed to do, right? So let's say I come up here and I wear my bandana. I wear my, my I wear a bandana around my nose so people can't 
so people can't see my bottom of my nose. So people can't see my nose and the bottom of my face. Then they're gonna say, why you got a bandana on? Then so take the bandana off, it's gonna be say, you got something in your nose. That's why I had the bandana. <laughs> Like, there's nothing you can do. Ah, so he told you. Well, at least she gave, she gave some time. I did say a couple seconds. Wait now, you become a little boy. It's excessive. Well, I'm sleepy. There's that chicken. Now, this is why some people be talking about they be going vegan and this and that third. Fuck vegan. And pescatarian and all that other shit. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. But... They'd be like, oh, I feel so much lighter and I don't get that groggy feeling. I don't care. <laughs> that chicken was good. If I'm if I'ma just feel sleepy and tired after um eating some chicken, I'ma just blame it on Mercury Retrograde. Mercury retrograde. I'm tired because of Mercury Retrograde, not because of chicken. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, but as soon as I, if I engage right now, then no. If I move this ball, it doesn't stop at one. You know what I'm saying? You're going to keep bringing it back and let it keep going. <laughs> you did really good yesterday. You caught that frisbee at the park? That was a really good job. You know those words that dogs understand? That's when the head start. <laughs> she know that the deuce deuce is some of her words. <laughs> you did a really good job at the park. Bark? You don't wanna go play with your friends? Your friends got treats. Friends got treats on some chicken. You ready to eat? <laughs> it's those words, bro. It's very, it's those words. Those, there's certain words you're talking like, huh? You got my attention. You talking, start talking like that. You talking my language. Dog love language. <laughs> Man, damn it! I brought the switch out here and didn't even want to play. Well, that's because niggas was all up in the chat and shit. So I was like, I try to multitask. You know, sometimes you be so focused on something. Like, what's gonna really have your attention? This or that? What you gonna give your attention to? This or that? And you go, if you let people, if you treat people as distractions, then you go, like, ah, them just distractions, like, I gotta ignore it. So. Okay, so maybe since it's a low point now, I can just go ahead and read whatever they were trying to say. You know how certain stuff is just important to you? You wanna know what happened, what, they, what, what, what was said? Because I'm not going to start my other game over. That's the thing. I'm not going to start my other game over. Because I actually already redeemed the codes for them, them 100 Pokeballs. So, well, I only, yeah, it was supposed to be 200. But I, for, I didn't get to the point in time in here where I could redeem those ones here. So, I'm going to just go ahead and play this one. I'm going to just get past this cut screen. Because this is, this is basically, after this intro part, this is where the, anybody, this is where the game goes left. Now, you go anywhere you want to in the game. Not anywhere you want. Yeah, basically, we're like, this is where it takes a turn. Some people go this direction, some people go this direction. Some people go, it's like, which direction are you going to go? So this is that point in the game. So the, everybody's first part of the game kind of looks kind of the same. Up until this point. And so now it's like, let's go meet the director. Listen to this epic Pokemon music. The director's telling us about life. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time to explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. As each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our Pond Academy. She got a Hariyama. Hariyama tough. 
But now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in his rich culture, discover the Pokemon that live there, live here, and get to know the people too. <laughs> Where will you travel, who you meet, and what you will achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partner will be there to help you. You will journey together, learn new things together, share each other's thoughts and feelings, and find something you might always treasure. All right, we're on a treasure hunt. It's time to find something I always I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. That would be, that's cool, right? Like, for school in real life. Kind of like, that, that's what this is, right? With the treasure hunt begin onward. Set us out into this whole wide world to do whatever, find that treasure. <laughs> See, Pokemon cards seems to be having some good, uh, they be dropping, dropping gems. Whatever it is that you're gonna do, you're, you're out in this whole world for you. <laughs> but it's a treasure hunt. Cyclists are right now. The great crater of Paldea is extremely dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. So, okay, apparently that's where you want to go. You want to go to the crater of Paldea. He has to mention that. It's against school rules to go there. <laughs> what are you waiting for, cute artists? Let's go. You're told you can do anything at all, so it makes it harder to know where to start. I know what I'm searching for. To me, treasure hunting means catching Pokemon. I'm gonna fill on Pokedex for sure. Yes, I've been waiting for this. You're gonna take the best photos ever with the new camera I spent all my pocket money on. Here's Nimona waiting for us. Is she want to battle again? Cue the artist, cue the artist. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, fair question. It seems your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Oh, okay. You could try to be Pokemon gems, you can help out people in need, you can hunt for a real capital T treasure, if you want it even. There's stuff we'd even, we've never learned sitting in the classroom, you know, this is our chance to learn it. <laughs> you ain't gonna learn everything sitting in the classroom. You gotta go and apply the knowledge. <laughs>
So now we got like a, it's like a triple thing. There's so many things going on, yo. That's why this game was so big, but it's like so many things going on. You got the Titan Pokemon with this seat on your phone here. Arvin wants you to do something with the Titan Pokemon. And then you can just go get the gems and get the champion rank. <laughs> yeah, mad stuff to do, bro. Starfall Street. Bailey, please. Now we can jump this thing. We gotta get in the right of it. Now, I think this one, I think, just to kind of look cooler, like his design and stuff look cooler. But it came down to like traveling on it. I think the other one just kind of like forced, I think, or I'm not sure. And I think it's like, that's what's coming at the design because like it has wheels and legs. Like, what's the point? Why does it have wheels and legs? Cyclozard. Now we can go anywhere. I'm trying to go back to that cave. Titan Pokemon, Eastgate, Jim, Westgate. Bay. So she's going to the gym, Marvin's going to the Titan Pokemon. That was a long cut, so. Well, history of home ec class and a mass outbreak is occurring. A mass outbreak of what? Good. That's a mass outbreak of Higgly Buff. There's a question mark on here. Oh my goodness. I don't remember the map being this big. Where is home at? Oh, I just want to go back home real quick. Because I want to get on that. Uh, I want to go to a cave. I want to go to the cave. I want to catch a hound door. <laughs> I just haven't had a hound door since what? Oh no, nah, this one mad cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This one cool. Look how he, he got the Jets. He got the Jets. Nah, he mad cool, bro. The other one not like that. Oh, snap. This one got Jets and stuff, bro. But I want to go. Um, 
if Mesa Gosa is here, Los Platos. Oh, because they went past Los Platos. Oh, Poco Path, here is this Cabo Path. Yeah, I want to go here. Let's go to that lighthouse. I want to go to the lighthouse. And now. The hot spot overheated and cut off, I think. That's what happened. I still got a good battery. I was about to say from here you can um, kind of see, but it would be hard on her. Anyway, I'm about to. There's a hound door. I just saved my game. Let's see how strong this hound door is. I haven't had a hound door since. Um, damn it, it's a girl. I don't want it. I'm, oh, and it's a dark type, so I'm going to hit it. So, you know what I'm saying? For Flamigo. Flamigo 333. Knock that nigga out. Who's that level four? So, we can catch a hound door. That. Let's look for a hound door. Ooh. Hound door is all up in this thing. All right, this hound door's at level five. But Flamigo's at level 11. Um, I'm not trying to hit it. I'm not trying to knock out in one joint. I'm going to let Wigwag go ahead and take a... Wigwag is at level 10. That's still kind of high. He at level 5. But... Bailey! I like, why should she just stop drinking this creek water? Okay. All right. Let's hit him with a... I don't want to hit him with nothing super effective. I'm just hitting with a rat real quick. Just do some damage. Yeah. Hit him with that rat. I'll hit him with a rap again. Nothing too crazy. Uh, see, now he in a yellow. And I can just, in my next zone, I can go ahead and throw a Pokeball at him. Ooh, I got burned. Okay. He burnt me. All right, let's go, Hound Door. Now. I'm going to put Hound Door in a... I got a Luxury Ball. I got an Ultra Ball. I got a Heal Ball. I'm going to put Hound Door inside of... I want to put him inside the Luxury Ball because he's a Dark-type Pokemon. The Luxury Ball is a Black. The Luxury Ball is Black. But I want to put him in an Ultra Ball just because. Because he's tough, right? I'm going to put him in the Premier Ball. I don't like the Premier Ball, though. I'm in the Pokeball. I don't do it. What, what, what ball I want to put him in? If I put him in a Hill Ball, that's kind of whack. Because he's a dark type. I'll put him in a Pink Ball. I'm really about to throw him in a Luxury Ball, bro. If I only got one of them, I feel like Luxury Ball is expensive. The, the luxury ball is expensive, and I found that junk, so I was like, do I, what type of ball I want to put them in, bro? I might put them in the ultra ball. I think that's just cool. But I, I might actually end up needing that later. Man, it's regular. Throw a pokeball at him. I got 36 of those. This is caught. That's a catch. That's a catch. All right, now I gotta figure out who I don't want to keep with me no more. But he's gonna be the fire type that I actually got with me. Ooh, I gotta give him a nickname. Hey, now I told you, I'm gonna call him Dovey Doberman. I'm gonna call him Doberman. Now, I said, what? I have a When I get a Doberman, I'm gonna name him Broly. So I'm thinking about, should I name my hound door Broly? Broly, or should I just name him? I'm gonna name him Doberman. I'm gonna name him Doberman. So much space I got. Dober. Man. Facts. Doberman. Can I spell, spell Broly? Uh, uh, nope, I don't got that for him. I'm gonna name him Doberman. Five five five. Doberman five five five. Nah, I got 
Mama got the baby mama. Mama, mama, one, two, three, two, three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 seven, 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 eight, 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 nine, nine, nine. nine. Doberman, eight, 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 come and go. The zero, zero, <laughs> Agent, Agent 00. What's that, uh... What's the James Bond? Bond. James Bond. I should do one of them. I didn't do it. I should say a reenactment for one of them. That's supposed... Those are supposed to be classics. Oh, and Gold Member. I gotta do Awesome Power with Gold Member. 222? Two, two, two. Doberman 333? Three, three, three. <laughs> I'm just gonna give him a different number. Over 325. Uh, I'm not liking the name Doberman. I don't want to name him Doberman. I'm going to name him Brody. Brody. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna spell Broly then. Oh, Broly. Broly. Oh, B R O L E. Or Broly. <laughs> Hold up, bro. Capital L. Bro. Okay. I think bro, capital L E E. Or Broly. Maybe I don't like the name Broly as much as I thought I did. Broly. I'm gonna name him Jahara. Fuck it. No, no. What the fuck? Um. What the fuck? Um. Fuck it. Cut the game off. We'll try this shit again. I'm gonna name. I'm gonna go catch the hound door. I'm gonna name him uh, Jahara. Just found this shit too. No, that's dope. Nah. Because the Pokemon you be needing a fire type, man. You be needing a fire type. It ain't it ain't an abundance of fire types. Now they did have a new cool Pokemon in here. I forget his name, but he like a little The thing about him, I think he was weak, but he looked cool. Super potion. Let's see if this one. Let's see what the stat says on this one. Same John. We'll hit that John with a double kick. <laughs> Let's go find the other hound door. This one's at level three. I'm not even, hold on. You know, you got some Pokemon they, they, you got some Pokemon we, that you know are weak with you. Now this Wigwug, I was just catch, I just caught this Wigwug because you see Diglett, and so you see a white version of Diglett, you gotta keep it. You're like, yo, what's this? That don't look cool to me. And it was water type, but I don't need this with me. Cause I got Quaxley. Yeah, he had level three. 
Now, the only other reason I like about this, I want to keep them with me because it's like it's on some. Uh, I don't know if I want to hit him again. He at level three, man. I might just go ahead. We're going to throw the Pokeball at him. He's still in the green, but I'm going to go ahead. We're going to throw the Pokeball at him, bro. Can you see his health? Where his health at? His health is right here. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and throw the Pokeball at him, bro. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and throw this Pokeball at him. He's still in the green, but let's see what happens. He's only at level three. Now, the other part about this is... Ooh, he popped out! Oh! Oh, no, I'm sorry, y'all. My, uh, I'm sorry. Every Everything I've caught up until this point, I've only had to throw one Pokeball at it. I've only had to throw one Pokeball at it, and I've caught it. Um, and I don't, I'm not going down like that. I ain't going out like that. I need my right... I mean, of course, yes, I was going to catch it. I'm still going to catch it. But, um, for it to be on camera like that, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. We're going to go back and catch that again. <laughs> uh, but I also got... I had just found an Ultra Ball in here, too. I got to rearrange myself. I had just found an Ultra Ball in here, so I was like, I got to figure out. Because finding an Ultra Ball there, though, did kind of scare me. I'm like, oh, shit. This shit about to turn the fuck up. Because you see some good... uh, You see some good items? You're like, oh, snap, bro. So... That super potion is over here. Let's get see. Let's try this again. This hound door. Okay, it's level five boy. We're gonna try to catch him. Let's go wigwag. Let's throw him in there. Let's try this again, guys. So amigo, come back for amigo. We like him, he's attacking me. We ain't using the super effective because it might knock him out. Just going to wrap him up. We're gonna hit him with a rat like two twice. Hit him, hit him with a rat twice. I think one more time. We're gonna catch this one for sure on the first try. I caught everything else on the first try, so I can't go out like that, bro. All right, he's in the yellow and he's wrapped up, so he's gonna, he's gonna be doing a little bit of damage. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Hit that X. Yes. Now, first try. Fuck is y'all talking about? I'm a Pokemon master. <laughs> Hondor was caught. We got it. All right. We're going to name Hondor Jihad. Jihad. Because I haven't had a Hondor in so long. Yes, Houndor gets a nickname. We're gonna name him Jahara. Um, should I do it with a J or the G? Should I do it with the J version? Am I gonna like something better than him? That other one that come up eventually. But for right now, he the first one catch. I haven't had. I really haven't had a Houndor in so long. Like that's what some about, well, about the old Pokemon that they, they, they make available on the genre. It's like yo, you haven't had one of these since Emerald, since Fire Red, since Ruby, since Sapphire. Jahara. We're gonna put a name like uh 777. We'll do Jahara 777. Or he'll be the first one named Jahara. Jahara 111. No, um, 222, 333, 444. 444 kinda look cool. Alright, Jahara 444. That kinda look cool. Uh, we're gonna do Jahara 444. <gasps> yeah, yeah, he's a boy. Jahara 444. Can we got we got most Jahara Bandit. <laughs> Cause it's a hound door, he's a dark type Pokemon, so he kinda fits the theme. Oh the bandit don't fit. Oh matter of fact, we can call him bandit. Facts. So, if you've been following the stream, it now has went down to a honeycomb bandit. We'll call him bandit. 
All right, bandit. I feel like just making the eye special. Bendit. <laughs> It's upside down. They got the eye with the hat on it. And then they got the eye with the long sounding eye. Bandit. Add to the party. Alright, who has to go? Blue eyes, white dragon. He ain't doing shit. You know, that magic card just be sitting in your party until that shit evolve. Uh, this wig wug can go. I need, the only reason the palm is still here because I need an electro type. But the wig wug, I don't need another water type. So wig wug can go. All right, we got the hound boy. You can claim rewards that you made in your pride or your Pokédex. Now I actually just want to get up out of here. Do you want to explore this cave? What else is in this cave? Because it's like if you see a hound doom, you know automatically the minimum level is at is whatever that Pokemon evolves at. Now there was a hound doom in here during that story part. Um, Flamingo can knock all these jays out, bro. Hey, bro, what if I walked around with a team full of hound doors? Like, it's every time you all you all guys hound door, hound door, hound door, like just throwing out hound doors, bro. I should let Flamingo walk out freely because he can be all these jays. Go for me, guy. Go have battles. I wanted the Flamigo to be out here having a battle by itself. Wing attack. Uh-oh. Now we actually feeling like some uh some flying type moves here. We could take out this daggone peck. Now the thing about right now, the move set that the Flamigo has right now is wing attack, copycat, double kick, and detect. And so it's like, bro. It's like certain moves you like, alright, shoot. You gotta have to start having some like elite type moves for you for the for you to learn and move. Cause you like those are actually like uh You know, double kick, wing attack, pet. You know, double kick, wing attack, copycat and detect. On some generic battling, like you fighting a certain type of level type Pokemon, those are going to be like super tough. Um, oh no! I just saw some items. I'm like, yo, I want those items. Did I fall again? Wow, 
Oh, I can get out the cave. But I saw some more items in there. Let's just go ahead and uh, save the game. Because we got the hound door that we want. Now, when I saw that level three hound door, I actually kind of wanted that because you, you trained it from a lower level. Like, I like that. I actually could have just got out this cave. I was looking for a way out, too. And I could have just got out. But mm -hmm. I saw some items. Was it around there? <gasps> oh my goodness. Bro, I did not see the hole. So many Pokemon in the way you can't even avoid them. I just came through this part again. like over here. Just to get this. A dusk ball. Okay. Oh, now there's another item. We're going to have to make a jump to get it. All right, we're in the cave. It's another item right there. We got to make a jump to get it. Woo. I'm going to back up. Got it, we made the jump. Woo! We made the jump. What is this? It's a yellow Pokeball. It's a yellow Pokeball that's shining right here. What is this? Oh, Phantom Force. It's a TM. Okay. We got the TM. Okay, let's uh if we can make that jump across. Nope, did not land. Let's go again. Oh, but then I see something else right here. I guess it's also cool that things are also like highlighted. It's so shiny. And then you go to, you, it makes you be like, yo, how do I get over there? But I can't jump up there, so I don't care what that is anymore, so I'm about, I'm about to actually try to leave now. Darn it. The diglet blending in with the ground. Everything in here is so daggone weak. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... If we know... Now, the crazy part was I actually found a smooth way to get out of this cave, and I did not take that path. I at least should try to memorize where it was at. Yeah. Let's try to get out of this cave. Otherwise, I'm going to just go to the map. Okay, here it is. Well, let me see. I found some water. Hold up. <laughs> is anything by the water? Okay. I don't really see nothing. All right, let's get out. Back at Poco Path. There's a wingo. I don't think I caught a wingo yet. There's a lot of Pokemon you don't really care for, but you just gonna. Well, it's also a girl. I don't want it. I can terrestrial a lot right now. Pokemon. Oh, Palmy. Palmy shot this nigga.
<laughs> it's just this uh, magic carp. Just oh, you can't say no more. Magic carp just floating around, just floating on the sand. Boy. All right, let's go to the map. We count the hound door that we wanted. Let's find those. Let's go to south. Let's go to. Now it's like at Mesogosa, do we want to go left or right? Do we want to go to the gym, or do we want to start fighting that Titan Pokemon? We're gonna go west first. Now the reason I say is because I already got. I think I when I was playing the other one, I did go get that first gym battle, and it was like not as weird, but it's like you know you be going to the gyms at certain times. You gotta play like a little thing, like a little game or a task. It was like it's like that. You shouldn't be having like games and tasks. <laughs> So we're about to heal up, and then we are actually going to go left. Boy, there's so much dust out here. buy any other type of we can still only buy pokeballs and I got so we'll just buy 10 more pokeballs pay with cash um, let's see do we have anything to sell We don't got nothing to sell for uh... Oh, we got some Stardust. Right. Okay. So now we're... Remember, she said West. Oh my gosh. Where am I going? West is for the gems. And there's a question mark on the map. We don't know what's at the question mark. South Province area, too. Yeah, we're just going to head to this. I want to know. She should say, she say how big your Pokemon is. Um, there might be some something cool about her at another point in time. But I want to see how average or not average or small for size uh, my Houndor is. Bay. Mm, this one seems a good sight bigger than average. All right, so we got a big dog. That's what I'm talking about. It's quite a specimen. Take good care of it. Hell yeah. That's my dog. That's my bandit. Facts. All right, let's go out here and go to this gym. Let's go get a pokey badge. Let's go get a badge, bro. Oh, found a rare candy. For some reason, something just popped in my head. I feel like I'm supposed to be talking to somebody who could give me a special app on my phone. I will say that this one's way cooler to ride around with. The purple one. What are you eating?
And the first gym is a bug type Pokemon. She just said she called us and told us. Nimona. Let's check this email. Let's see if the, the book came yet. All right, we're headed west. You know, the people who had to do when they did the gold rush out west. We don't know what's out there, but we're headed out west. All right, we're west of the gate here. Let's start roaming. Oh, snap. Not if I fall. F it, we ball. Woo I jumped down. It's a full hill down here. It better be, oh, shit. Here goes this little corn jank. Hey, from back in Pokemon, um, uh, Crystal Silver, Sun Kern. I ain't want to catch that one, though. We'll catch another one. For me to jump down here, I better find something good. Got a Basculin thing. I don't know if I really care for that. Hey, we got our guy. Uh, what's that sheep Pokemon? He's about to show us. Mary. Um, but we need to switch. Do I have a ground type? Ooh, I had a ground type. I know I got a, a Wiglet. But, Diglet, but. All right, so if I'm facing electric types, you got an issue. And Spider-Man, this little spider Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't got no crazy strength. It's actually kind of weak. But I feel like he evolved into something cool. And we just got shot. This will be a good battle for him. No, I'm not turning to But if he get knocked out, I don't care. Not that I don't care. I'll, I'll switch him out before he get knocked out. But you know, they already got this um, experience share on, so... This boy is just weak, but I, you want him to appreciate the uh, good battle here. Some effort points. <laughs> he can win too. Ooh, he might got. Ooh, he might got one little jump. All right, I'm gonna heal him up. He should not be out here looking like that. I'm gonna heal him up with this point. He needs a paralyzed hill and a whatchamacallit. We just gonna give him the potion real quick. Just to get his energy back. And then he just gotta hit this jam like two more times. Cause he already gotta split the experience. But this joint is weak. But you know how sometimes you be, you be hoping like, man, one day this Pokemon will get strong. Pokemon, so certain Pokemon is just, they're never going to be strong, bro. His best move, he only got 10 of. And it don't do that much damage. He keep not moving because he paralyzed. Yo, he's doing less damage. Oh, let's do struggle bug. He is a bug type, so he shouldn't struggle bug actually, you know what I'm saying? He paralyzed again, bro. Oh, it took forever to beat that mirror. It took forever. I'm not healing him right now. He's not somebody I want to battle with. He is not battle worthy. 
Psyduck is chasing me. Yeah, I don't know, get the word from me, Psyduck. So what fucking mode is this? What is this? Uh, I haven't caught an Azura yet, so let's go ahead and um Ooh, I knocked him out of one hit. Yeah, Flamigo is actually pretty strong, bro. Flamigo get right. I gotta catch a I actually gotta catch a Azura. Okay, here's another mirror. But let's switch out. Palmy. Let's make Palmy first. <laughs> and this mirror is another girl, same whatchamacallit. So we just gonna have to use Quick Attack. It's gonna take a couple quick attacks. <laughs> oh, that's why, because he used ground. Like, yo, why is he doing even less damage? <laughs> Q Wayne. Uh, shoot. That would be good for Bandit. To, see, if I had my fire, if Bandit was stronger, it would be, he would be a good person to watch him follow. I gotta get, we gotta wait till we get around the grass types and stuff, and I can let him. Sometimes you gotta fill out the Pokemon that's in that area and then say, all right, we're gonna make this person want, this Pokemon go first so we can, he can battle and get all his experience up. Yeah. Now I gotta switch the Palmy out though. And I'm gonna switch to Pum. Flamigo is actually gonna be kind of weak against this electric, but I'm gonna hit him with that double kick real quick. And Flamigo just tough, so he can handle a Thunder Shot. <coughs> He can handle a thunder shot. And use Thunder Wave. Come on, bro. <laughs> Fight through this thunder, thunder Wave and knock this man out, bro. Knock that man out. That's what I'm saying. His double kick tough. <laughs> His double kick tough right now. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> Nuzzle. Nuzzle only does 20. But it, but it, but it, so instead of Thunder Wave and Thunder Shock. Instead of Thunder Wave, this will actually do a little damage, so. Now, do you want to take out Charge? I'm gonna just take out the Charge. We don't need charge. I'm gonna take out the charge so he can learn nuzzle. Do some damage. Now all his moves do damage. Let's battle. She says she's aimlessly wandering. Me too. That's how I got down here. Backpacker Alex. Bro, if people thought Pokemon Go was something, when you see Pokemon in the metaverse, you got a Growlithe. Let's look. Bro, this water falling. Ooh, the Growlithe at level 12. Oh, snap. Oh, this is a battle battle. I'm going to hit him with that nuzzle first. <coughs> Paralyze him. He hit me with ember? Ooh, and I got burned. Wow. <laughs> now from here, I'm going to just hit him with the... Oh, I can't use thunder shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, thunder shot. Yeah, I can. Damn, he knocked me out with the ember. Damn. You know what? Quack's about to come in and wax this nigga up. Whoa. It's like, what the fuck? Nah, he got, he got one. He got this growl up at level 12. Nah, I'm not. We're not going out like that. Aqua Jet. <sighs> not them. Not them straight out. What the fuck is you talking about, boy? Come on now. He got any more? Nah, that was wild. Oh, he ain't got two Pokemon. Wow, he about to send out the Sable Live. Now, if Flamigo wasn't whatchamacallit, 
Um, we're going to see what level this Sableye is at. I'm going to throw Houndor out there. All Houndor really got is Ember. But now I got to look some stuff up. <laughs> what level is his Sableye at? The Sableye at what? Level 12. Sheesh. I'm going to hit it with one Ember and, I hope, and hopefully Bandit can take one hit. Shadow Sneak. That shouldn't do too much damage. Ooh, even though it wasn't very effective, he's still five levels ahead of me. Yeah, that's weak. Okay. Um, so I'm about to just, uh, we're going to send. What we're going to do is go to bag. I'm just going to use this Paralyzed Hill on Flamigo real quick. And then I'm going to send Flamigo back out. So I just couldn't have, I couldn't send him out there with that. What you call it? All right, Bandit, that was good enough. You took some damage. Where Flamigo at? Both of his Jones are at level 12. That was a tough battle right here, yo. Oh, shoot. This is our toughest battle. We are gonna win, though, but... Astonish? Yeah, okay. All right. Now, my thing is, Sableye is dark, but he's also ghost, so I can't, I don't think I can hit him with a double, a double kick. I'm gonna have to hit him with that wing attack. Yes, sir. Flamigo's so daggone strong. One more of these and he done. Flamigo. Flamigo the type, it's a strong jump and it's cool. So you get the you'll get to having you get addicted to having Flamigo out front and easily making your strongest. Bandit learns small. Alright. Well, we got some money off of that. We got $720 off of that. Okay, we're Pokemon. There's some Fletchlings. Uh-oh. You're not a certain Pokemon. You'd be like, stay away. I know that Pokemon. Boyzum. And this also, do I need to, um, okay. Let's go to the bag real quick. We need to revive Palmy. And give people potions. Let's heal everybody back up. That's a hop hip. I don't think we call it hop hip yet. <laughs> no, we didn't catch a hop hip yet. And so, and it's level eight. It's a boy. We're gonna hit him with a hit him with one more of these, and I think we should be able to catch him. Oh, matter of fact, I'm gonna hit him one more time then, because he just got some HP. He used absorb. Now we're good to go. He's absorbed again, but we good. He's staying in the yellow. So. Go ahead. Boom. Like that. Send that joint to the box. Send that joint to the box. We don't care nothing about no hop in. I don't care about none of this data. Send it to the box, bro. Right. Ooh, here go another mirror. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, I don't gotta watch my call it. So girl. We still gotta catch the Azura. This is like, I don't even know if I'm like catching that joint, but you gonna catch it. Oh, shoot, it's not even good. I'm gonna make that one too. Okay, let's keep it going. And it got dark too. Found the great ball.
Oh, uh, give me your coin. I accidentally found one. Oh, it's these. It's a horde of these little Pokemon right here. Now, I think I actually want. Oh, let me um. Facts. Let's save the game first. Oh, they're coming towards me. Save. Look, as soon as I watch them call, it's gonna say Pokemon Watch. Okay, nah. Here they go. I'm not sure if I wanted this over the hound door. <sighs> it's a mastiff. That's tough, right? I'm gonna have a whole bunch of dog Pokemon. It's a mastiff. It's a level 10 too. This joint tough. All right, let's nuzzle it up real quick. Paralyze that joint. <sighs> but I feel like this joint was strong. Ooh. Oh. You know, it, there was a he he used hone claws. It, it looked cool, but it didn't do no damage. It just boosted stats. I don't want them, I don't need a move like that. Yo, there's water that keep falling off these trees. Okay, bad, bad, bad. I'ma hit him a couple more times. We, but we're gonna catch this master though. He know hone claws, he knows scary phrase. He knows two moves that do no damage. I'm not rocking with this joke. But for some reason I feel like this drew is tough though. Second time he used that jump. Alright. I think he's weak enough. So go ahead and use uh Pokeball. Let's go ahead. And see what we got. Got him. I don't know what type of Pokemon he is either. His name is Master. Oh, he's just a dark type. Oh, he's actually kind of ugly. I don't want him. I don't like him. And he looks... And he looks sad. Oh, hell no. I don't want him no more. Look, look at this nigga, yo. This nigga look like a sad dog. You don't want no sad fucking dog. And that's why you like Hound Door. This nigga look tough. Send this nigga to the fucking box. To the box! Okay, I actually gotta catch a hot pit. Oh, did I catch the last hot pit? I caught the last hot pit, right? Oh, yeah, so let's run. We don't need to catch this guy. Then they keep telling me I can claim rewards for the amount of Pokemon I've caught. Oh, I think we're going to come up with another trainer. Are we good to go? No. Spider Man is paralyzed. But he's not even good enough to battle. He's too weak to battle, bro. Okay, I still got to catch another Merit. But. We need the process. I don't feel like catching, catching. We feel like battling. Let's see. <laughs> Schoolboy. Carlos, the student. He took, he sent out a tad what? He sent like a light bulb. A tad bulb. He sent out a tad bulb. So I'm assuming it's electric type. Meaning we don't need to watch my Carlos. So I'm going to hit him with the quick attack a couple times. Uh, but he wasn't, I, I wasn't at full health, so, um, dang, man. Oh, so the table, it looked like it's a part electric, and, ooh, hit me with that, uh-oh. Hit me with that, what, mud attack. If he, if he hit me with a mud attack again, he gonna pass out, so I don't, I don't feel like nothing to happen. So we're gonna send... Q Wayne out. Even though I'm a water type, I'm still about to mess this boy up real quick. Cause he might be part of. He might. He just did. I think this shit just did a, a ground type move, a water type move, and a electric type move. Tad ball different. Um, so we're gonna hit this boy with a, a wing attack. It's not very effective. So yeah, he's definitely part of electric. Um, shoot, I shouldn't have hit him. With, I should have hit him with a pound after this. We just had to knock him out. Knock him out the park, Red. Knock him out. Knock him, knock him, knock him, knock him, knock him. You got one more than one Pokemon? You only had one? He what? Okay. Just a very pretty feather. It is nighttime. Now the thing about this is that there be a path, and you're okay, but 
Once you wander off that path, <sighs> I mean, I mean, that's just how much that's how Pokemon it was in the beginning. There is a path, and you can wander off in the grass on the side of the path. But I'm trying to get off of this. I had jumped down here. Now, technically, it's just something lighting up over there. It's one of them terror raid things, but I don't even. Well, yeah, let's, we can go ahead and try to see what's over there. They don't be that cool to me. And then based on what color it is, that lets you know what type it is, too. Um, here go another Pokemon we just gotta go catch. Uh, what's this? This is a Krikatote, Krikatot, whatever. Um, and we're actually gonna let Bandit fight him. He can finally use some of that fire. Struggle bug. Ooh, but I think, okay. I about to say, I thought Dark was, I didn't know if Dark was weak against, um, Dark is not weak against bug, is, I think Dark is weak against poison. But that, it's cricket totting <laughs> me up with that sh Okay. Uh, he might have, he might get two more, damn. It's definitely, now that he uses growl, it's definitely gonna take two more embers. Yep. Hope, I was hoping one of them things burned him real quick. And thankfully he used growl again, so I ain't gonna lose too much health. So, hit him with that, boom. Now, that's a couple raids. I was supposed to catch a cricket talk, huh? There's more over here. Um, let me go check my map real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm past the destination that I wanted to go to. So, yeah, let me just make sure I start to go backwards here. I'm going too far down the path. Yeah, I don't went too far. I'm going back. I need to go backwards. I passed the part where I was supposed to go. My destination. Now. What are these? I got to catch one of these. A small one. I haven't seen this yet. Ooh, he knocked it out in one hit. That's what's up. You getting strong. Oh, because he had level 10. I actually kind of wanted to catch that one, though, because it was a boy. Watch this next one be a girl. A girl at the same level. Well, knock her out in one hit, too. You don't knock her out in one hit. I don't want to keep wasting my watch my call, so we use small. Okay. Let's faint. Faint does 30. We'll take out string shot. Let's actually try to catch one of these smallers. Send that to the box. Yeah, we don't even want this one. So I hit it with that first. Right. It's another smaller, one more over here. Dang, this small one, what's call it too? The small one avoided the attack. Come on, man. Now, even like you like, ran the battle and then there's those other stuff, little stuff that make the battle longer. Like, come on, man. Thank you. We're gonna hit it one more. Oh, that was a critical hit, so thank goodness. Is there one more time? 
I was actually trying to catch it. I should have caught that first one, but I wasn't paying attention. So, knock that one out. I'm actually trying to go get a badge, man. I'm trying to go fight the gym leader. Now, she do bug Pokemon, so my hound dog can get a lot of damage. Um, I still haven't caught a Mara. <laughs> we still gotta catch a Mara up in the small one. <sighs> Why all the Marabs is girls? What in the world? You know, you've been to move the battle, sometimes you've been to move the catch. Okay, this Marab is a, 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 a boy. He's a level 10. Come on, they hit you with that growl. Move gonna last longer than I need to. Okay. With my ember, I'm gonna hit it with one more ember. Or actually, just to weaken it. I actually wanna catch this, I'm gonna hit it with another small. Boom, missing a red. Let's go. Don't, what was I about to say? Please don't watch the call. Let's go. Here we go. Good bread, good bread. Nope, I don't want him to send me to the box. To the box. And we went up another level. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Send him to the box, send him to the box. I haven't had a mirror in a long time, so. You haven't had a mirror since Pokemon Go. Oh shoot. Snuck up, this little master snuck up on me. I don't wanna fight the master though. Let's get up out of here. The only thing I'm trying to catch now, I still got catching a Zuro. Oh, the terror raid thing is one behind me, ain't it? Or... I'm trying to get back on the path. Oh, it's one right here. Let's try it. Let's see what's over at the terror raid. This will be the first one we do. Okay. Let's save before we get to the terror raid. And I'm gonna put my Quaxley back up front. My Quaxley could be way stronger. Okay, in Terra Raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to battle powerful Terra Pokemon. You can battle alongside far away friends while you're in online mode or nearby friends while you're in offline mode. These battles put you against Terra Pokemon with rare Terra types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat Terra Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. Defeat the Terra Pokemon within the time limit. Oh, no, no, I meant the challenge alone. You want to ban in this raid? Yes. Because you could do it with other people. Challenge alone. So you can so you can challenge as a group, and then I think, I think other people can, you know what I'm saying, hop on the joint with you or whatever. You challenge it alone, it says, oh, help, came around. So I think they just make random people to just watch the come around in your territory. That's my first one. But I didn't like these joints. They be taking too long and forever, bro. Look at it's all of this. Now think about you gotta do all of this every time you do a terror raid. So I don't know who this is even supposed to be. In terror raid battle, you try to you'll try to defeat a terror prime within time. If the if your Pokemon is knocked out, it'll be revived after a while. But you also have a time pain, so try to avoid letting your Pokemon faint if you can. You can also perform a special action terror cheering by cheering for your side. You can do things like boosting the stats of the Pokemon on your side, helping them recover the health. You can perform cheers three times per battle. A nimble. I don't know what this nimble is, but we're gonna hit it with an aqua jet. And it's a boy. I'll try to catch it. Ooh, that didn't do a lot of damage. Ooh, he used pounce. Uh, I'm gonna actually try to catch this at the end. Oh, we fucking this nigga up. <laughs> Cause he looked cool. Like. I've, n I've never seen this before. That's what it looked like. Hello. Oh, the Rock Ruff is kind of cool too. Yeah, bro, I really might catch a whole bunch of dog Pokemon walking around with a dog team. Um, can we see him? Oh, he's right here. Now, if you can't really tell, he got like, there, that's like the best way. Kind of like, whatchamacallit, bro. It don't look kind of cool though, so I'm gonna try to catch it. Wing attack. 
a wild nimble as fast as oh somebody put him to sleep. <laughs> Ooh, I did all that damage. Facts. So it broke out the terror. The little shape that he was in broke that broke. Catch. I'm throwing throwing a pokeball at him. Like I don't care. I throw a regular pokeball at him. I ain't even try. I got a great ball in the ultra ball. I don't know what level he at. Oh, I'm about to see if you can work out, bro. Okay. We caught the nimble. We got we got mad stuff. Um, experience candy, extra small and small, nimble claw, muscle feather, two of those, pearl, nimble claw, and another pearl. Mm. All right, we caught that nimble. I don't know what level was that. I don't want to give him a nickname. See his summary. He is at what level? He's at level 12. What does he even know? He knows assurance, double kick, pounce, and leer. What type of Pokemon? He's a bug and poison type. Oh, he's a bug type. His terror type is poison. I'm not geeked about it. He's a grass type Pokemon. I'm not geeked about it. I'm not geeked. Okay. My destination. I need to get to my destination, bro. I somehow jumped off on the side of the cliff and ended up way over here and got past my destination. But I'm a battle. Maybe that's, I don't know. Maybe that's why the one guy was at level 12 with two level 12 when I first came out. I was like, whoa, it was a, that was like a big jump. Maybe I was not supposed to be down there. He sounded a cricket top, thank goodness. Who do we got first? Quaxi. Okay. Quaxi about to take care of him. Wing attack. That might knock him out of one hit. Yep, done. But I'm hoping he got another one so I can send out uh, the hound door again. Oh, uh, nope, he just had the one. We ain't get no experience from that. 352. You trying to catch a mirror? Did I catch a mirror already? Oh, I did. I don't got to battle no more. My fault. I can run away. Okay, I just caught a mirror. Okay, okay. Oh, so you riding down this countryside, picking up on this one. Okay. I think I'm getting back to where I watch call it. The gate. I had jumped down this whole part. I done went down this whole little trail here. Cause I jumped off the side of the cliff. And I'm still exploring. It's like before you make that jump, you gotta see what's down there first. Okay. I think that was the jump I had made in the beginning. So let's not go back down there. We just got all the way back up here. Um, and let's actually get on. Let's take, let's go on the road. So now we're back at Westgate, right? I think. Um, lady out here with the I completely a picnicking. Do we need to have a picnic? Let's talk to her about picnicking. My poor bag's full of bursting with ingredients. Here, let me share some with you. Got a strawberry, cheese, and jam, cream cheese. Put the ingredients in our picnic basket. Pepper. Sandwiches are the best when you eat in my side. Try make making some stuff this with the stuff I get you. Pepper, salt. Hey, since we're here, you wanna have a picnic so we can rest up a little bit? Yeah, give me that picnic. Yeah, so I need a picnic. <laughs> we gotta heal back up. Babe, come on, man. Come on. Come on, bro. She gonna knock something over. This for real. 
You don't Pokemon like you are offline. Come again anytime. I just said I was going to stay on the path and I immediately go right back off. I see something. Something shiny. But I think this hill might be a little too high. I might try to run up the hill first and then jump. Let's see. He ain't got no to This joint stopped me right in my tracks, bro. <laughs> run. I don't want to fight this thing. I don't think I can run up this hill, though. Jump. Can you do a double jump? Let's get back on the path. Let's actually find some trainers along the path here. <laughs> She's still on the scatter band. Quacks is about to fuck this nigga up. <laughs> Quaxley knocking niggas out in one hit, bro. Now nah, Quaxley tough. <laughs> Quaxley tough. A drift loom. Yeah, we'll switch. I'm gonna send out a drift loom. I forget what drift loom is. I feel like it's part psychic or something. Or water. Hmm. Might want a water bug. I don't know. I send out Palmy. Shot this nigga. I feel like Drifloon. Drifloon, I don't know what that is. Drifloon might be part. Drifloon might be normal in something. Oh, no, nah, that was super effective. Whatever we just did, we just hit it with a. Yeah, that point is not ain't working over here. Alright, we hit it. Alright, we got Undershot. Knock him out. Bailey! Alright, so I was about to say, see if it's a safe delivery. Baby. Did I catch that sun card? Oh no, we need to catch a smaller. We were talking about that. It's a smaller. We need to catch this one. It's a so much more call it though. A level seven. It's a girl. We don't want that. Like that joint out. Okay. Go off the path real quick just to get an item and then come right back to the path. We got another trainer here. So it might have been like one or two, two or three trainers. <laughs> Sergio, the office worker. They got a lot of characters here. Oh, he got the, uh, he got the brown whooper. Oh, uh, that's what they call the Paldia version. Or thing. Ooh. Now, water is supposed to be whatchamacallit, but this junk knows. Ooh, this ain't different. It has a water absorber as a special effect. And so I can actually, I use the water attack, but it can't do nothing to it. That's different. I mean, I might have to get one of these whoopers. Super Trooper. Oh, I forgot to look at them. Okay. We're gonna do a little research. I gotta do a little research. I gotta look at the, the move set for Quaxley. Cause Quaxley at level 16, you know he's about to try to evolve or something. Look what I say. I just said it. I just said it. He's trying to evolve. I just said it. Yo, he gonna try to evolve. I said, you hit level 16, he's about to try to evolve or something. No, B. Fuck that, B. Keep hitting B. He stopped evolving. We ain't letting that nigga evolve just yet. I'm about to get that nigga Everstone. Did I catch this on already? Oh, 
Let's see real quick, bro. Put this on here. Where's this book at, bro? Damn, man, I ain't. I don't want this one either. I do some things a week, so. I want to put like something there. Spider Man. Focus energy. We don't care about the focus energy. If Pokemon skip learning moves or forget old moves, they can learn them again. Open the main menu, select Pokemon, check summary, moves and stats, and then help her remember some. That was cool though. That's a that's a nice added effect that we enjoy from Pokemon. You can just learn an old move again. You ain't gotta go to the move master. I think you used to have to go to the move master to, um, to teach it the old moves. Okay, we arrived at our destination. Okay, so our destination was just a diagonal um, thing, a healing center. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna come back, we're gonna come back to, I'm gonna see what this terra, terra thing is over here. And uh, let's save the game. We made pretty good progress. <laughs> and then. Oh, no, never mind. I do not want it. It it, it showed you the whatchamacallit. You, you aren't, you got. Oh, I gotta figure out what's the purpose. Of it. They gotta be some um, perks into doing a terror raid. Cause I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I just declined that terror raid. Yes, heal me up. Okay, so if this was the Pokemon Center, I thought I was trying to, okay, that's good, that's good. But we ain't making it to watch my college just yet. Now I did just get that message for 10%, so I need to be mindful. <laughs> Okay, so. Oh, so we actually did not make it to our whatchamacallit. Um, this bug type you is recommended first stop for anyone considering taking on a Pokemon League. Though sweet as a treat, this baker or bug thing pastry shows a, a bold streak in battle. All right, so we're gonna set that as our destination, Quintado. Um, so let's get back on road here. Oh, it's morning time again. So let's see. Oh, here's a lighthouse. I don't care about no wild outbreak of Mary. <laughs> Electro ball. So this tower, climb one ladder, now there's a second ladder, up oh, and got a little suitcase right there, which has the gungoil, whatever the thing is, gimme gold, gimme gold. So I'm gonna hit the gimme gold, it's at level 10, I'm gonna hit it with a uh, hit it with that water gun. Hit it with one more loud water gun. Then we try to catch it. I think you can catch it. <laughs> so let's put a pokeball at it. <laughs> Whoa, baby! What did it say? I don't know, but 
This thing just popped out. Uh-uh. I'll throw a premier ball at it. Oh, almost had it. <laughs> I can't hit it no more, so. Throw another premier ball at it. I don't like premier balls, so I don't care about wasting them. <laughs> it's just popping out, bro. This last premier ball on it, and then we're gonna throw a multi ball at it. It rolled twice. <laughs> I'm trying to think, is there anything else I can? And just because I don't know what type of Pokemon it is, um, I don't know if I can hit it with something and then it'll be a super effective. Okay, caught it. <laughs> Alright, caught the gimme goal. Gimme goal coin. You can claim a reward for the progress you made in your Pokedex. It keeps saying that. So if I put the, hit the, so open the Pokedex up, hit a minus. You can collect the. I'll figure that part out later. I had to fall down that uh, day. Fuck the climb. <laughs> Your rotom phone will save you. Okay. You just sitting here, all the bugs think you part of the nature. They go that starry, starry you, uh, the blackbird Pokemon, that normal type blackbird. <laughs> it's the new version of Pidgeotto and Pidgeot. I don't wanna fight none of y'all. I'm actually looking for another trainer to fight. Soda pop. It's like, why is this truck here? If I could drive the truck, that'd be cool or something. That's why I said, mix Pokemon with Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto lets you hop in that jump. See, I be wanting to find trainers. <laughs> Cause I don't want to miss any trainers. That's my whole, that's my big thing. I want to make sure I can fight all the trainers along the way. Yeah, let me be. <laughs> Shoot, let me be accidentally running in this one. It's a diglet. Bro, how am I accidentally running to a diglet out in the open field? <laughs> Dig it. That used to be exclusive to the caves. They used to come in waves. Playing baseball for the Braves. Somebody to battle? Yes, we found somebody to battle.
I think that's another. All right, I think that you can connect. Oh shoot, seven percent, seven percent. That's another plus. You know what I'm saying? Like the trainers don't stop you. You actually got to go up to the trainers if you want to battle them. Manuel, the student, he's 60 years old. Talking about he, uh, he, he said he's still kicking. <clears throat> oh, he got something different. Mm. He got a spoopa. Mm -hmm. At level nine, he got a spoopa. I've never seen a spoopa. Mm. I don't know what type it is. I'm gonna hit it with a wing attack. But first, let's be smart. And let's put the phone on the charge. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> at this point, I haven't gotten an email yet um, to say the book was delivered. <laughs> okay. There's much more efficient cases that you can actually keep charging your phone with this through this. But on the mobile charger, let's go. <laughs> Joe Pro. I mean it's Joe Pro. You know, we run slow. And we're charging. Okay. Alright. Phone is charging. <laughs> We've been hitting with a wing attack. It was super effective, so. <laughs> I don't know what that spoon pot was, but that wing attack knocked it out in one hit. <laughs> Catch a cricket top. Yeah. And we're just gonna look to try to catch a couple of drones just cause. Starly, that's the name of it. I'm gonna hit Starly with a pound. Ooh, yeah, to put it, to put it in the yellow automatically. And then we're gonna uh, throw a pokeball at it. To the box, to the box, do not care about it. <laughs> to the box, to the box. <laughs> Bro, no. Okay, let's go to recently battle. So we did not catch Sun Curve. <coughs> or we didn't catch Sun Curve or Smaller. I can still I still gotta catch those. My uh, OCD kicking in. I was like, I know I want to. I was avoiding them. Now I was like, let me go back and try to catch those. Okay. We almost at the first city, though. Okay, this small if we want to catch. Hit it with a pound. Now I can't even hit it no more. It's at level eight, and it's some boys. We're going to try to catch this one. We're about to throw this one. We'll call it out of now. We're just talking about, let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. We got a smaller. Now, if we see another stun, a sun current, we'll catch that too. Just to add it to the send them to the box, send them to the box, bro. We do not care. <laughs> do not care. How are you grass and normal? Like, what was the point of making it part normal?
And we got this honeycomb bee Pokemon. <laughs> and so it's like, comb bee. You got it, your Pokemon. Like, that one joint got to kind of be strong. I just hit with a pound. We'll do the same thing we just did the last one. Hit with a pound, throw a Pokeball at it. Because it got to be able to just take, especially if you're just trying to go into catching, it got to be able to take damage. It got to be able to do damage. <laughs> Caught. Send it to the box. Send it to the box. We just trying to, when you, cause you, you go to the joint, you're not gonna catch everything, but then you gotta go back and catch everything, and so it's a matter of, oh, a shiny diglet. I was not expecting that. Oh, it was a terrestrial. It was a terra. It wasn't even inside the thing. That's weird. Like usually it's a whole terra raid. How to catch wild terror Pokemon. It says how to catch wild terror Pokemon. You cannot catch wild terror Pokemon. Oh, you can't catch it while it's terrestrial odds. <laughs> Reduces HP to break through its transformation first. Only then can you try to catch it. Wow, and it's at level 17. Wow. That's that's high. My, I'm, I'm only at level 16. Wow, okay. Oh, so. Oh, actually, I guess I can knock it out. Hold on, how do. Oh. I hit it. You got its HP down. Do I want to tear. I'm gonna just catch it. I don't know. It's at level 17. <laughs> I can release the other diglet that I got. Oh, but I called the other diglet Dig Dug. Double hit? Yes. Who's trying to learn double hit? Boxley. Uh, yeah, take out the pound. <laughs> 2,000 LP. You trying to evolve again. No, I gotta go look at the move list. <laughs> All right, let me get my bearings back right. Okay, we're back on the road. Now, I do think there's another trainer over here. So we're gonna try to battle. <laughs> Daily battle special. Our regular says electrifying. Oh, does that mean you have electro type? I'll with the Rachel's. Since I'm a Pichu. Quaxi not scared of Pichu. We're gonna use our new move called double hit. <laughs> Critical hit, not the joint out in one hit, thank you. Quaxley tough. I'm not even gonna hold you, Quaxley is tough. We got these little squirrel Pokemon over here. <laughs> Try to catch one. These are ugly though. Wove it. I don't really want it. It's a girl at level eight. It's not. Oh, no bite. Done. You're done. <laughs> okay, let's get back on path. I think we caught this. We caught a small loop already. We're back on path. And the city is about to be here, so we can kind of just explore this area. Yeah, I see the Pokemon Center right there. Mm -hmm. 
So before I get to Pokemon Center, I'm gonna just go left and right. Like, is there anybody out here? Go off onto this whole path. Yeah, I ain't trying to go too far though. Okay, anything else? Oof. Mm, one of the ugly buffs. Alright. I think we saw enough trainers. Let's go ahead and... I think we're at a good stopping point. I think. Oh. I didn't see you. <laughs> David, the Auschwitz worker. Oh, no, I still got to catch that little Pokemon right there. Oh, he's sitting on the fan pee. Classic. I'm going to hit the fan pee with the Aqua Jet. Super effective. Almost knocked him out. Yeah, we'll hit him with the water gun. You got more than one Pokemon? What you got? Nope, that's all he had. So, where that little dog Pokemon at? I don't like this one. People really like this new Pokemon. Uh, what? I don't care for it. What's this called? Fido. Hit it with a double kick. Don't want this one. Oh. You'd be scared to touch electric Pokemon nowadays, boy, because you don't know what you're going to end up just getting shot just because. There's actually Jigglypuffs out here. It's a Jigglypuff and Fido. Floating on it. This Jigglypuff at level 10. Knock it out. Avoided the attack. Bailey! I'm gonna use Flamigo. Cute charm. What does that mean? Flamigo fell in love. Still knocked up. I'm gonna try to catch a Fido and a Jigglypuff. Fido, Jigglypuff, heal up. And then, oh, come on, baby. You can catch a Jigglypuff right here. One hit. All right. This is Jiggy Puff. <clears throat> Send that to the boxes. Jiggy Puff is part fairy. It's normal and fairy. They had to just change that up. Jiggy Puff is not part fairy back in the day. When Jigglypuff was invented, it was not part fairy, bro. Palmy's gonna be actually pretty good for catching a regular Pokemon out and about. But for this, uh, yeah, this Fido. We wanna catch this and Fido, we're gonna heal up and then we're done for the day. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> Check my email. Are 
about to run. Cause I don't want this fight though anyway. Magic card just be taking up space in your in your party. <laughs> Don't win this fight over either. Magic card just taking up space in your party until I jump get to level 22. Mm -hmm. I'm not pressed about Fido. I just wanted to knock it off my list before I go into town. Cause you also gotta talk to the dude. See how many how many trainers did you battle? He gonna ask how many trainers did you battle? Let's see. <laughs> got aerial ace. Mm -hmm. I see a lot. And then. Chasing up his big old bird. <laughs> Bailey. Hey, 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 chill out, bro. That joint is uh, I keep trying to tell you that joint is like low key annoying, bro. Uh, she be out here, you bird. Like you're not catching a bird, bro. Like, <laughs> that bird was big too. Man, this ain't got a nice screen, but it sure to be attracting the dust and lust, crust, bust, must. Rust. Not rapid. <laughs> yo, John, I just say dusty, bro. You like, yo, when is it gonna stop? I feel like every time I wipe it, it get dustier. I feel like I'm wiping it, it's getting dustier. Go ahead and just put this joint away. That was a good Pokemon session, bro. We just had a good session. I don't know, any Pokemon we just caught, but we caught a couple. We caught more than two for sure. Caught some Pokemon. Um, facts, we just caught some Pokemon. Caught a lot of Pokemon. We're on the adventure now. It's officially on the adventure. So, um, we, got, we got three hours, too. So. Easy streams. All right, now, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna check to see what they're talking about. Yeah. Sure. All right, bro. Look at this thing, bro. Look at this thing. 
It said shipped. Now this joint was put, my book was supposed to come here April 3rd. Got pushed back, delayed, whatever. <laughs> April 3rd. Then, finally done shipped down and said it's supposed to come today. It was supposed to, matter of fact, it was supposed to be here yesterday. It was supposed to be here yesterday. So it's supposed to be here on the 3rd. Then, um, I got an email, like, I don't know, whatever them days was, and it said, all right, yeah, it just got shipped, but now it's not coming Saturday, it's coming today, Sunday. So, it says ship, it still don't say out for delivery, So, but it still says by 8 o'clock. Uh, so, not here yet. Don't say out for delivery. Let y'all sit here real quick. Enjoy the birds.
Right. Hope you enjoyed the trees and the birds, the birds and the bees. Right. So we cool. Exactly what I'm talking about, bro. I was about to try to grab so you can see. She got this big piece of wood stick and then just put it all on my shit. Alright, <sighs> hey, bro, leave that stuff alone, man. Because the water right there is like, I don't barely know. Come back up, man. Come back up. I just did another notification. Uh, dang. Dust all on it. But yeah, bro. That book was supposed to be here on April 3rd. Didn't say it was coming Saturday. Now it says it's coming today. It says shipped. Now, but now it's not even, it's not even past the out for delivery part, bro. Now it's not even past the out for delivery part, so. Um. Wait a little bit. Let me just check on the other socials. You know what I'm saying? We can do that. So. Knees are like crazy. Oh my goodness. You know, you steer, start steering so much. You, uh, sometimes you keep your mouth open while you steer. Mm. Start to get to a point where you gotta be so productive, even with some of the stuff that you're doing. Like, if you want to make content for like ASMR, you should be chatting and stuff. But you could just take it to a short little segment for ASMR, and I could just be quiet, like I did the last time. I was I was smoking my cigar pipe, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be chatting for a little bit. And then I took the highlight from it and made that to an ASMR video. Slight shit type shit. Aw, oh, shoot. Ugh. This has been tough for the nose ring, y'all. Oh, All this sneezing. It's almost like, I mean, yeah, they be having like allergy medicine and stuff. But, oh my gosh. They be having allergy medicine. But, I'm going to leave it for a tough predicament. 
I probably wouldn't let her roam, but at the same time, when she roams, when she goes too far, she come back all super dirty. You be like, yo, where, how'd you get this on you? What is going on? And then, if I ain't trying to play fetch with her, you know what I'm saying? It's messed up. Oh, my goodness. So now we're at a point where the nose is, like, out of commission. And when I say out of commission, my nose is at a point where it's, like, that's what be the weird part to me, like, your body does what it's supposed to do, right? So it's, that's what it was supposed to do. Like, we're supposed to get to this point here. So we got to this point. Now, nose out of commission. On some, they start dripping. Ain't nothing I can really do because they don't want to, don't want to breathe through the nose. This joint, eyes ah, all messed up, bro. This joint don't make no damn no sense. Bro. Why are we? Why do we react this way to allergies and stuff, bro? If like. We were made to live outside. Like, homes weren't here. We had to build homes. We had to build homes and stuff. So, let's see. We were made to just be here on the land, live off the land. So I was like, why are we reacting this way to the elements? And this is just awesome. You just outside. It's just power. Alright, bro. Amazon is now down to two hours, bro. They're down to two hours. So, what I'm going to do, we can load Pokemon back up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would low-key kind of, I'd be annoyed, bro. If the book didn't come, oh, shoot. Will you pause, bro? If the book don't, the book supposed to come today, bro, this will be like, you know how many delays there has been with this book? <laughs> I told you, the book was supposed to be published February 29th. I thought it was a dope date to have a book to be published because it's a leap year. Like, when was the book published? February 29th. I kept getting pushed back. I told you. Somehow, I got my fifth book published. But when I tried to add, I think I, I don't know if I ever finished that thought. When I, add, when I tried to add the pages to the fifth book in, I think I, think I just kind of stopped. Anyway, I started adding the pages to the fifth book in the sixth book. Oh, I did say this part. I was writing it, but then I got tired of it, and then so I stopped. You know, so the sixth book got it got some different stuff in it, bro. It got some different stuff. So I really, you know, what I'm saying I really want to see it because it's just only, it was really like I have certain motivations, and they they might not mean nothing to y'all. You know, what I'm saying look, 21, 22 on the timer. So it's a two, 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 two split up with a 22, 22 with a one in the middle. That's what it was. Anyway, it is so many bugs on me, bro. And now it's like I could just be sitting here like this, and you know what I'm saying, and just snot and stuff is coming. It's like can't be this much snot in your body, bro. I'm trying to get my face like get my face sideways. It's something swollen. So, bad. Oh, gosh, bro. No, I ain't playing. I'm not messing with this ball, bro. Look, the ball is right now. It's going to that dirty water. Oh, I bet. Oh, gosh, bro. You have to leave it right for right now, man. Hey, leave it. It went into the dirty water part. 
Like the water, water, but this part right here is like a little murky. I don't know what's up with it. Hey, please, please leave it alone, baby. Leave the ball alone. Leave it. Come here. You're gonna have to leave that one right there. I'm sorry. Take that out. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna touch it. Up. That water like silvery and stuff. It's really murky. I don't know what's up with it. Uh uh. Leave it. <laughs> this is kind of like tragic, but I'm about to let that down the street. Just so she can't pick it up again. But she, she really wants to look at it. She really wants it to know. Dick. She wants that just so bad, bro. No, man. We not playing with this, bro. They done fell in this stuff, and I just don't trust. Look, I don't know if you can tell. This water is murky. It's like silvery. It's a different type of jar. Here she comes. Oh, man. No, man, we're not playing fresh. Uh, okay, she went and got a stick instead. Boy, I was say, damn, she's going to get that ball out of the water. I just did that jump down the street. Okay. So, what we'll do is two, two, four, four, four on the time. So, what we'll do is six oh eight. Didn't say out. It was like you know, like you know this joint on the way, and you know it's gonna be here any day. I'm ready for this book to come, bro. It was like oh, that was what I was saying. There's so many delays with this joint. I just start doing different things for. It. Oh, I lost some of my motivation, some of my other motivations. Like so, my project extension is on. It was one of my former students. You know what I'm saying? You used to draw dinosaurs and stuff. And I just, I just like, yo, like, we're gonna put this on a shirt. We're gonna go market this. Da da da. Then, I really wanted him to have a, a comic book, bro. I really wanted him to have a comic book. Because I had just published my first book and I was trying to, you know what I'm saying? And the, when the site that I had went through said that they could, they could do comic books and stuff. And so I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, get him started on it. I was like, yo, keep drawing, make some pages. We're going to turn this, we're going to make a comic book. Bro. Like, I really wanted to have a comic book for him. So, those was a lot of my, that, that right there, bro, that's a lot of my motivations, bro. <laughs> him drawing the dinosaurs, and I wanted to see it on the shirts. I always wanted to give him a, I wanted to be able to get him a free shirt and a comic book, bro. With his pictures and his drawings and that's what I really wanted. You know, just making a comic book, bro, all of that. So this is my sixth book is super interesting, man. It's super interesting. So yeah, I'm I mean, I'm really excited for y'all to see it. Like this one, it's one of my favorite books. They got the cover. It has like one of the, it has an updated picture of me and my guitar on the front of it. And inside of it, it got the project station design on the inside of it. They got mad shit, bro. Like, I am excited for this book to come. And my books, over time, like, each one of my books, bro, like, from one book to the next, they got how you can either say weirder, more different, more creative. Like, the book, from one book to the next, that's why, like, my next one, bro, the next one, I ain't playing. Nope. But the seventh one? Come on, bro. The seventh book gonna be tough. But I want the seventh book to be about, you know. House, car, um, home, business. Oh, well, house, car, business. One of them three things right there. Something big. <laughs> Something big. Here's the edits, bro. Get the edit.
Bro, I will be on a road like this. Like, I can actually sit down and I'll be so excited and I'll be on a roll and I'll hit like four edits off in a row. And the thing with me is, in my mind, what it make me just keep editing it? Cause I think I be getting new ideas. I'm like, oh, this edit better, this edit better, this edit better, the edit's getting better. And that last edit that I dropped be the worst. The last edit that I dropped be the worst. So, like yesterday, I think the coolest edit that I put out yesterday was the one that put any kind of tie all together. And but because I was liking the sound so much, I, I added, I made it a little longer. But it, which ones did the best? The simple ones that I barely tried on. I'm like, yo, so it was still cool. Like Bailey caught a frisbee yesterday. So um now yesterday was cool because it was just all the stuff I was like, I was bored anyway. And it was like, let's go to the park. I'm like, yeah, let's go to the park, bro. We went up. After, after the park, we went to Dairy Queen. Got a burger. I had a burger in a little minute, so that burger was good. Had a burger. Like that. And, but Amazing Queen, so it's like, they know for ice cream. They just happen to serve food. So, and they got, you know what I'm saying? You look at the, you look at the menu now at Dairy Queen, bro. It got mad stuff, bro. It got so much. It got all these other food, bro. But it's the ice cream place, so you can't. The food ain't supposed to be all of that. So, but I had a burger. It was it was good to eat a burger and some fries. I was like, I'm good. I had some ice cream and I got me some root beer. I put, of course, you know, I tried to put. I was eating ice cream too much, and then. I, but if I should have timed it out and planned it out well, I could have put the ice cream in the root beer. But go to the park. We had the park for a little bit. We had the park. You know what I'm saying? Like at the park. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you was on the stream, then you kind of seen, like, people came up and talked to me, and they said, third, they was skateboarding, and they was talking barely, and then I went to the joint, I was like, let's do a little, little edit here, I did a little music video edits, so, boy, I was like, yeah, you do a little trick, and I'm gonna feel like I'm doing a trick, and I'm gonna edit it out, so I did that, so I did one edit, the first edit was just with the skateboard part, then, so, I used the, snoo, that song, then, the second edit was, Bailey catching, the <clears throat> frisbee now with that one i didn't really have to edit at first i was just i had first i had edited so that it sped up and then slowed down when she went to go make the catch and then uh, sped it back up but i didn't have to do that for like the dog catching like people are gonna you know what i'm saying watch to see this dog catch this frisbee now the one that i caught on camera yesterday was her first time catching a frisbee out the air now the first three times i didn't catch it on camera but it was actually okay because the time that I did catch on camera, that was a really long throw. Like the first one or two, like they were like kind of short. And we didn't, cause we didn't know she was really gonna catch it. Like she was going for it, but she didn't want to catch it out the air. She was, it was hitting the ground. Um, but then the girl threw it and it happened twice. Same girl, I think. She threw it short and Bailey had caught it like twice. Um, not back to back, but just like this just happened. Like all the little kids were trying to throw the Frisbee and Bailey was going after it. And then so, uh, she threw the drink short and Bailey caught it like twice and then there was this third time she caught it but again it wasn't a long throw it was still a short throw and then that one the one I actually caught on camera and this was when like now this one was like we was about to leave and like oh Chucky she about to get it last, like come a couple last throws type of thing and yeah my, I had my camera going but then um, they was like, yeah, the dog catching this on the third. And um, everybody else had their camera out too. So it was like, okay, there's a couple cameras on. And he threw the jank kind of far. And then daggone, she went and caught that jump. So that jump was like, so I didn't even have to really edit that. There was some music on that one. Um, and I knew that was going to be all right. Now that ended up getting like, you know what I'm saying, a couple thousand. I understood that. Then I had to put all the visuals together. So I added all the visuals together. So the first one with the skateboarding did and the one with bailey did nice and then so hold on let me try to get this one right first one skateboarding did him one with bailey did hmm. then i mixed it and it did i'm trying to think that one did uh it did okay too like it didn't do it just uh right and then but then the last one i did 
Um, the last one I did, because by this time I thought I had it down pat. This time, the last one I did, did the worst. It's the, I'm like, bro, come on, bro. But it's like the one that I kind of like the best, bro. Like, as far as sound and all that stuff, it looked really good. I, I liked it. I liked it, bro. So that's why I just kind of, it's like certain shit. Like, I'm like, I'm just keeping this shit. Like, fuck what anybody else saying that's all about. This shit was fire, bro. That shit had me smoke, no smoke, da, 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 whatever. It, but it's the band playing that jank. But it's the Bethune dancing to it. That joint was fire, bro. Because the first time I posted with it, the Bethune cook, man, and it was Mr. Ice Cream Man. Doom, do doom, doom, do doom, doom. And then the next time I was like, well, then when I, the sound that I had got the the other band from, I didn't like the video. I was like, damn, this shit, the video kind of whack. You know what I'm saying? But so I just kept the Bethune Cookman, and I just used the audio from there and put that one up there. That one was fire, but I really liked that one. I'm so mad about that. I'm so mad about that. Whether it's the naming of it, the timing of it, I don't know. But that one just, it's still, it ain't. I was like, man. I really like that edit. I really like that edit. Mm. And because I like the sound so much, I made it a little longer. But longer, uh, I don't want to be going. Kind of just depend on what it is. Everything. I don't know. It's so weird. Like when I say weird, it's on some. If I, it's, it's even, it's just different. Even if the. Like some of the edits, if I put trend, like so what I kind of stopped doing is using transitions and the edits have been getting doing better performance. The edits with transitions don't have a good performance. And I was like, wow, like I don't understand. Like to me that the transitions is cleaner, smoother, funner or something. But the ones that just chop from one scene to the next do a little better. That was different, that was different to me. But so. I do, I am. Yeah, I do not appreciate that, man. I, that, that short, that short needs some more love and attention. They gotta like that one up. That's, I'm just sharing, I've been sharing that one, like, I'm sorry, sharing that one, they do not give a fuck. That edit was tough. I like that edit, bro. Actually, I think I might be able to, um, I was thinking about putting uh, YouTube on the Switch. I'm not sure what capability I have. I'm not sure if it's just watching. But if I could go live from the Switch, mm, yum. Now nah, the Switch doesn't doesn't have multitasking capabilities though. I don't know. I know how you. I know it has YouTube. I know it has YouTube. So, I mean, I mean, we could just try it right now because I am waiting for. <clears throat> This book, We're waiting for the feed on the six book, bro. Do -do -do -do. That joke was still not out for the movie, bro. So, what we're gonna do now. I'm going to. Oh, the other part about, I didn't like having the switch out right now, because I'm. And they keep, I gotta keep wiping the screen off of the pollen. But I'm about to try to, and it has a good memory. Like I got the OLED switch, so it should be good for memory. But I'm gonna just, uh, I usually don't put any apps. Just random apps in. Like it's literally Pokemon. I got the Metroid game. And I got this, the workout fitness game. But there's no apps and all that stuff. So what we're gonna do, oh, it's not connected to online, so I gotta connect it to the online. My nose just running, look. <laughs> nose running, just running. So let's go to internet, internet settings, searching for networks. We're gonna connect it to, we're gonna connect it to the hotspot. <laughs> It doesn't see it though. Hotspot must have been chilling for a little minute. So 
hopefully I don't have to actually click like link back one more time. Is, I hope, is my phone hit that to the hotspot? No, my phone not even hit that to the hotspot. Wow. So my phone wasn't even hooked up to the hotspot. That's because I had when I had walked over there. Now the cool thing, you be forgetting that the switch is actually touchscreen. That is so clutch. Could the password be? <laughs> Bro, I don't know what my password is. Mm. Watch, this ain't about to be wrong. I, bro. Hey, it worked. <laughs> you know, you got, you got a go-to password. Oh, shit. Okay, but. What is this? This thing, no. Now, again, even as you're sitting here watching this, you back. Like, this still, as far as, like, the, uh, the PSP, this still don't this still don't even compare to the PSP. Like it's any type of nothing. So but we're gonna go here. We're gonna go into keyword and we're gonna go YouTube. Search. YouTube free download. So YouTube is a free download. <laughs> We about to download YouTube on the Switch, baby. <laughs> hey, okay. All right, we about to have YouTube on the Switch. We about to have YouTube on the Switch. Make it do what it do. It's on loader. <laughs> baby, you can just walk around and go play, bro. Now we might move to the tire. We might move to the tire because it is, it's more shade out. It's not as hot as it was earlier. Just gotta carry everything. No smoke, no smoke. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now. <laughs> YouTube is downloading. YouTube is downloading. So let the game do that. This and this <laughs> and the John said our book should be here by eight o'clock. So the fact that it's six thirty, once I sign in and do this little bit here, you might wait up at the front. I need to see, I need to see out for delivery, bro. I need to see that it's out for delivery. And we gonna do. And unbox the uh, six book. <clears throat> Should I restart this stream? Yeah, I'll restart it. I'll get it. I'll get it put back on.
Yeah, yeah. The book deserves that much. Even if I don't do it, like, yeah, 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 it deserves that much, bro. It deserves that much. Uh oh, YouTube is done. Okay. Man, that was that was a realization I came to the other day. Like, you be wanting to people to act, to stop acting fake around you. But when they act real and they show you how they really feel, uh, then you start having some fallouts. <laughs> so that's why you just, when they act fake around you, you kind of just, all right. Okay, so we got YouTube up here. With your own account, you can find all the vision changes with no one else's. Okay, so I might have to use my phone. Just got this out. Okay. I don't know why, but I, I kinda had to do it twice. I kinda had to do the whole sign in, verify thing twice. But we're good. We are signed in on YouTube. <laughs> And I'll show you, bro. This the one I'm talking about. Oh yeah, this is just YouTube TV. This is just YouTube TV. YouTube on TV. All right, sneaker news. All Yeezys are gone. Hold up. Does that mean my order is what I'm gonna call it? Bro, the shit about this shit, man, this shit is so fucking annoying. If he don't send the Yeezys, it's just like, like when. Guys, today we got one of So, what was crazy was, if he don't send the Yeezys, oh, how much I say? He charged everybody $20 for the first Yeezys, right? The first uh, Yeezy pods. And then, the thing is, they had to. Uh, send an email and go through all these steps just to uh, they had to when the Yeezys dropped from $200 to $20 you were supposed to be able to get your refund back but you had to go through them you had to automatically talk to them and you had to talk to them and to to initiate getting a refund that is not good like if you was gonna do that like you should have uh, you should have just gave everybody an automatic refund. People shouldn't have to contact you for a refund. So. <laughs> That's good. So dude got a, a shoe channel. He talk about shoes and whatnot, sneakers. And he called, let's get a sneaky Sunday. <laughs> okay, so let's. Now, he actually has his uh, video, whatchamacallit, so, but I'm trying to see if I can see the segments. It's probably the back end. That's probably what most people want to see. Yeezys are going. Yep, here it is. So, let's see what he talked about. Yeezys are going. <laughs> So let's see what he's talking about. Signature sneaker with Puma. So this is rumored to be MD.04. And they've been pretty rapid with the pump out of this silhouette. It makes sense. A lot of people really 
like this. I'm actually really liking the look of this thing. So generally speaking, they don't depart too much from just the regular silhouette you see with the pop three version. However, these look to have up at some point each back, I believe, or a little bit longer. Uh, Adidas decided to pull all of the Yeezys that they had on oh. the confirmed app ready to sell. So those notorious you didn't sell it. Yo. Also talking about oh. at some point this year, maybe. All right, let's talk about these Yeezys, which are now no longer available. That's right. So I'm not just talking about Adidas and Yeezy. I'm also talking about Yeezy Yeezy. So about a week back, I believe, or a little bit longer, uh, Adidas decided to pull all of the Yeezys that they had on their Adidas confirmed app and ready. That's tough. That's tough. You see how this is some sketchy business going on, bro. Like... Adidas messed themselves up, bro. Adidas messed. It seemed like from, from the outside looking in, like they just messed. They completely just shot themselves in the foot on this one, bro. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like they just completely shot themselves in the foot. The fact that they thought they was really gonna be able to get away with it and just be able to still push out the designs. It's like, oh yeah, it's a fire shoe. Niggas still gonna rock with it. They still gonna buy it. Like, they, like acting like he ain't had no, he, he had his name and his he ain't had no pull and he ain't had nothing to do with it. And the shit don't sell. That shit, tough. And so he said it just pulled them all back. That's tough. So those notoriously didn't sell out, so everybody thought that they would just kind of sit around. It was a little bit weird that it just pulled them off of the app. Uh, people were speculating that that was because of the most recent Fear of God and Adidas collaboration drop. They kind of didn't want the easiest to be. That. But those be coming back, we're not entirely sure. But what we do know is that Adidas still has a lot of Yeezys to sell. But one we may not see this year is uh, the only shoe that Yeezy is selling. Mm. These things have been on the Yeezy website since December in 2023. And they've just been available for kind of like a pre-order. I think it said like shipping takes four weeks. Uh, and now for the first time since they originally got loaded up, they have been taken down and are no longer available. Most people are pretty much assuming that it's because they are so inundated with so many other easy parts and they pulled them off the website to try and fulfill the ones that right. they already made, which right. would make a lot of sense because I mean it just seems like it's getting a little bit out of hand now. Yeah. So many people are complaining about not receiving their easy pods. However, uh -huh. this could also be the last that we see of the easy pod. That could be it. They, you know, they sold enough of these things and now they just took them <laughs> off the website. Maybe That's they're going to move on to something else. That's we had tough. a little leaking rumor of a pair of slides when the easy pods were first announced. So I don't no care about no slides. Stuff, no more easy pods. So yeah, anybody who didn't order these easy pods may never get another shot. They could be gone permanently. Trump yeah, that's is facts. News, nothing too crazy, but I did want to highlight a couple of these things. So the first one is that we have. Yeah, that's facts. Uh, so that's off. I did not know that. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, now, there's actually two things. Um, you know, you got a caterpillar and you got a moth. So, uh, no. I said it wrong. You got a butterfly and then you have a moth. And how do you know which one's gonna come out of this? Is this a butterfly or a moth? Or is this neither one of those type of things? And this is just a, uh, how do we say? <laughs> this is what it is. Like, it's one of them other type of bugs. Oh, see, not a crazy other thing? Like, not crazy, crazy, but like, when you read off the history of Pokemon, he, the, the creator of Pokemon really like bugs, bro. He was really outside with the bugs. And that's why he was really out in nature a lot. And he based all that Pokemon off of real stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, bro. Okay, so it seems as if they just not selling no more Yeezy pods. Um, and it's a couple things. So, they just not going to sell them no more. And they just got uh, too many orders that they just need to go ahead and just get done. <laughs> and they probably might will never sell them again. So, I really hope that I get my pair, bro. I hope I get my pair. I hope I really get my pair. Mm. Right. So, we saw that. Oh, hold up.
Hey, he playing Pokemon. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Who wants to be a millionaire? Jumanji, Pac Man. I'm gonna have to download some games. Hey, I'm gonna just go ahead and show you the um the video I'm talking about. So I put it under music video remixes. This shit is too hot to me, bruh. But the beat start keep going. So I had to just let it snap. Yes, sir. Hmm. The jacket. That's the same sweat I got on right now. Same switch. Yeah, bro. I said, hell no. But then this is the other one with the other jump. This ice cream man. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Hey, hey. Stop, 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 stop. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. We need a uh, good uh, stream here. This bug is trying to get on to the phone, too. Hmm. All right. Now, let's... Uh, let's see what our... Search. Let's go ahead and search. QM... Dynasty. Hey, babe, look, she trying to, she, she, the bug trying to get on the phone, Betty trying to get the bug. <laughs> okay, we live, baby. We watching the live on live. Let's check the channel out. Mm. Got the uploads up there. Mm. Can I subscribe to myself? Mm. <laughs> I guess I can. Mm. Oh no, I hit it back. Okay. You cannot subscribe to yourself. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I think that joint deserves way more love, bro.
Bro, the sound effects in this day sound crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we got YouTube up here now. No, you cannot stream from here or do anything like that. You can just watch. You can just watch. Don't believe me, just watch, nigga, nigga, nigga. Don't believe me, just watch. Okay. <laughs> it's now 6.52. It's almost 7 o'clock. They have one more hour to deliver the book. It's either one, two, man. <laughs> it already said shit, bro. Let's check this thing. Let's check this email. This jump still does not say. It don't say alpha delivery. Which means, I don't know. They still have time or whatever. But I just feel like it might just end up being, um, I might get another email just to say I got pushed back again.